Hi everyone and welcome to another season of the Cookie Pod. In this season I'm playing back over at Greenskin Gaming and uh, we, yeah, we started off a really interesting first session going about, is it like 24 years? Not too, nothing too, too far but we still have some interesting developments all over the place. I am joined by uh, Leon. Hello. Uh, playing Austria and Carlos. Hello, I'm playing France. And uh, Senor Carl, or...? Yeah, you can just call me Carl. Carl. Carl and Carlos, that's yeah. confusing at all. I'm playing Milan. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome I'm aboard, guys. My name is Carl as well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Spare me. Okay. So, oh yeah, yeah. I'll just call you Milan friends. Excellent. <laughs> 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 so, uh, if we start out at the east, we had some expansion limits, which, pre which prevented Muscovy from lobbying too far east. But he's still off to what seems to be a fairly good start. Is uh, Central Asia still banned? Uh, it's still banned. Like we're going to probably see the Nogai and it will open up some street. But for this session, it's banned at least. It was banned yeah. for this uh, the past session. I mean, yeah, but next session do we know? Is it going to be? Yeah, it, if we have a Nogai seated here, so it's going to open up. Yeah, but oh, um, I, I, I think. Player. In the current one, Moscovy will only be allowed to take stuff which was previously allowed. Otherwise, you would like yeah, game the system game in the a way. System. Yeah. Yeah. But, but there's an actual no guy player that yeah. wants to take it up with Muscovy. Yeah. It, yep, yep. It's going to be very interesting. That's, that's very nice to know because this Muscovy basically has no other threats. Yeah. Do you know Lithuania. what went down with like Lithuania and Muscovy, uh, Leon? Since you're like a little bit closer than us. I, I don't. I don't really know. Like. I, I also don't really understand the whole Poland, Lithuania, Sweden, Muscovy, Ottomans, Hungary. Like, so at one moment I think they're enemies, then they suddenly are allied, then they're not allied no, again. It was like always it's the same power block. It was always yeah, but Muscovy, I, I think it. Poland. But at least for a moment, Hungary, for example, was allied to ha Ottomans, but right after they fought, fought the war, or, so it's kind of confusing. I don't completely understand, like. Yeah, okay. I think but Lithuania and Ottomans are friends at least, that much I think. Yeah, I mean from what I've seen, like both Poland and uh, Muscovy have been wanting clay from Lithuania, but I don't think they've actually taken much, have they? I yeah, I mean Lithuania sold, sold those off. provinces, so yeah. I yeah. thought Lithuania was friends with Muscovy, but... But I mean, sure yeah, like, so Muscovy hasn't actually fought a proper player war during no. the session, right? No, ah. no he only ate Moscow and of course. Okay, I mean, but, I will. Yeah, what I don't get is since you were hovering over the tech tab, so he's hiding Kazan. I, I don't. I think this is a good idea to take um, provinces from Kazan before, unless you're going to feed him to Vassal. But you can only get take two anyways, right? Because of I mean, the I expansion I would guess he's like trying to farm them for money or something, which is kind of weird when you're zero manpower. But yeah. I mean, like, it's a sort of expected opening as Muscovy, like, if you can get Lithuania to sell provinces, it's nice, but he, yeah, he's a little bit behind on tech, especially for someone who hasn't fought yeah. in the player wars. Like, he's, in, he's also, yes, he what, he's, he's like in 1k, what? 1k what? in depth from fighting AI. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yep, I mean, that happens, though, like, I mean, if, you as, as if you're not careful... Yeah, I mean, Muscovy doesn't make that much money, and if you, like, recruit Steralski without thinking about it, you suddenly pay a lot for your troops. So, like, the first thing you have to learn as Muscovy is you don't have to go to force limit just because you have it. I mean, I'm assuming he is pretty <laughs> close to force limit. He's like, above he force limit fighting the AI. He, he, could, he could have ha half the troops he has, and he would still win the wars, and I yeah. think that's the reason why he's in debt, because he... I mean, he's, he sitting, he's sitting above force limit right now, which is really, really odd to me. Yeah, and he has his Stratsky recruited, so I would just go to, like, I don't know, two-thirds of force limit and keep yeah. the Stratsky in, in the back, and if I get attacked, I recruit the Stratsky and instantly you're back at force limit, and yeah, but you I don't mean, have to pay for the troops. Yeah, at least, like, going it's above force limit isn't very... Yeah, yeah. You also annexed uh, his vassals, yeah. at least one, two of them. Yeah. Doesn't look like he's yeah, about to. He hasn't improved relations. You should, with you should have kept them because you can just use their like army to fight, and you don't have to use your own. I mean, I like to. I think it's fine to integrate a few, so you have some diplomatic slots to work with. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like. Uh, so I don't yeah, mind I mean, that. It, it's 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 nice <laughs> early on, but since if it's not like fighting any player wars, I think it's fine to integrate them, a few of them like, when you can. I think most of these. Um, 
mindset has been okay i want to expand as much as possible in as little time as possible but that's yeah. why he's been declaring lots of wars and then he's been like eating too much lamb putting yeah. him buying an admin tech putting putting a stress on his economy and just general yeah money. i agree I mean, you, you, I mean, Especially. usually you see the the violet uh, vessel Belotsko, or, or I don't know how it's called. Usually you give a, a bunch of Novgorod land to him, and I and mean, I, I I prefer to like integrate. I prefer to like integrate, uh, like uh, integrate these vessels, take Novgorod land for myself since I have perma claims there, and then maybe like make a ah, vessel okay. down here. But yeah, it's like you can d go different approaches. But yeah, it's also uh, like does he need to be a six or a five? Not a big deal, but. If he's no threat, why is he running like an alliance and a royal marriage with Sweden? Alliance is with Poland. Is he focusing admin right now? I'm wondering. He's focusing Bill. I think that I think that's a good call. Like if it was an early yeah. war, that was essentially mandatory. And I mean, once and once he reaches admin four, he wants the yeah, focus exactly. anyways to go through the ideas. Yeah, so I like he, he's also gotten like quite lucky with an area, even if it's only three mil. Yeah. This is a really good one. Like and he got lucky that his king died. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think this Muscovy is actually looking really good, but I think it had mm -hmm. essentially a free game, and I don't think it's, uh, like, managed this as well as it could have. So I'm like, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Like, once it actually becomes, gets into conflict with, like, Nogai, which on paper is, like, a weaker country, eh, let's see. Like, the, these are horde units. Does Nogai have any ideas? Uh, Nogai got, uh, will uh, get its, uh, or already actually got oh, its he's take. he's got a lot of money. Tech and um, good, good miracle. Uh, this this was just with him from the start, the treasury. But uh, we put him on, or I put it on, on the average tech and IDs between uh, oh, so Ottomans. The, yeah, this is like save. this is like the fixed no guy, and it's uh, oh, okay. between Ottomans and Muscovy in tech and IDs. So it's actually like um, doing fa fairly well. It didn't like go here, bump one into defensive, have the second one in a while. Be fairly strong in the battlefield against Muscovy, so yeah, not I too bad. Can, I think he can survive. I, I think Muscovy is favored if it's a one versus one, but uh, Nogai yeah. for sure, actually. But Nogai definitely has some punch. And uh, yeah. I mean, the, the problem just is like Muscovy has no other um, enemies besides Nogai because Lithuania can't really fight Muscovy because as soon as Lithuania gets in the war with Muscovy, Poland will declare on them. I yeah. mean, Sweden should yes. kill Muscovy. I mean, Sweden should. Try to go for Russia, yeah. I mean, yeah, but yeah, this, this is his opportunity, so he should move. Yeah, I mean, like Sw Sweden should be winning this war, but Sweden has a royal marriage with uh, Muscovy and this ally to Poland, so it seems like he wants to. He's like in with the Muscovy Poland block, so. Yeah, and and to be honest, like even Nogai and Sweden versus Muscovy, I would still say Muscovy, if he plays it correctly, he should still win. Yeah, yeah he is. I think they could win though. I mean, yeah, he, he has in no that. money, he has no income, he has no manpower. Like, Sweden isn't in a very strong position like, right now. On on paper, uh, Muscovy is favored here, but uh, it's like. But uh, in practice, yeah, in practice, like, if Muscovy uh. is struggling this much against AI expansion, he's going to be in a world of hurt if he's up against a good horde player, which no guy player mm. may or may not be. So I think it's Nabi Hoff, right? I think no, Nabi, no, no, Nabi. I think might be sitting on Timurids. Uh, it's a new guy on no, oh, okay. no guy. So I think we should put Cookie on no guy. <laughs> I, 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 I feel confident wrecking this Muscovy on no guy. No problem, actually. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so this it's like a, an I interesting situation. <laughs> Either way, it's an interesting situation with uh, no guy getting seeded. Muscovy and no guy probably fighting. Muscovy, I think. Said something out wanting to do his uh, mission tree, tame the steps. So that's going to put him almost certainly in conflict with Nogai. And then we have Lithuania, who's uh, despite being having both Poland and Muscovy hostile to him, seems to have been holding on fairly well. Uh, like I saw, I think it was Poland fire a coalition war against Ottomans because Ottomans got like yeah. a billion yeah, AE with the uh, entire world. And as you can see, the result is uh, that they had to release a bunch of land. <laughs> but he didn't lose his core, so it's not Yeah, exactly. Bad. Like, most of the land he released uh, was stated, so he remained the and right culture, so he just kept the course. Yeah. But he lost some land in Greece, too. Yeah. So. And I mean, it's, it was hurt. 
Yeah, I mean, and he lost, more importantly, he lost money and manpower he could, that he could have used somewhere else. Yeah. So it did set Ottomans back, but it also set back Hungary and Poland who had to invest a lot in the war. I mean, did yeah, they, they, like they, they need, need to? This war. I don't know. Yeah, because Ottomans actually defended, also Lithuania joined and they sieged down Lithuania, but then Ottomans marched up and defended Lithuania. Oh. And the Ottoman troops were way stronger than the... Uh, Polish and the ones of Hungary and Bohemia offered Condottieri, so it was like it I would say war. the war was more or less 50-50, but the problem was that all Mamluks and the miners of the east basically sieged down Ottoman land and then oh. at some point Ottomans were sieged and then they lost. But I think the fighting itself against Poland and Hungary was more like 50-50, I guess. Yeah, I mean looking at looking at Turkey or like Ottomans, they are Probably like the strongest or second strongest nation in the game after France, so they still yeah. pack a lot of punch. So even with Muscovy, Poland, and Sweden, and like maybe Hungary, I'm not sure where he lies. It's still a, quite an interesting situation over here in the East, and not so like. Yeah. And then Did we have Muscovy like. Not join in the Lithuania gang I uh, no, humiliated. No, uh, uh, no, I mean I humiliated Lithuania. He gave me a short strike immediately. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, here you just collected that. Fair enough. Uh, and then we have like an AQ that I think joined the coalition against Ottomans uh, and has yeah. sniped uh, some provinces here that were released, I suppose. We have a QQ seeding in, we have a Mamluk seeding in. It's going to be a lot of action though, over here in the East and it's going to be interesting yeah. to see how things develop. Yeah. I'm a bit surprised that you put Ottomans on um, Diplo 6 just because of Mamluk spawning in as well, who's going to probably get into a conflict with Ottomans. Oh, uh, what? On Ottomans Diplo 6? Oh yeah, I mean, that, like, my rating... said he was rating was... Yeah, my, my, ra my ratings were under the assumption that... Uh, at the end of last session, essentially. Yeah. Ah, okay. As I'm not, as I'm not rating Mamluks, I'm not going to account for them, but yes. Yeah. The situation is going to be... For sure, a lot, lot uh, more difficult for Ottomans with, like, QQ and Mamluks receding. Yeah, but I mean, Ottomans is still a very strong nation, and they can also Diplo with... QQ and Mamluks, so yeah, but it might but help QQ them because have to <coughs> I mean, the currently, Ottomans. yeah, but currently their neighbors were all hostile, so I mean, I don't know. I mean, QQ doesn't have to be hostile to Ottomans, they can just make a deal, eat AQ, and later form Persia. I mean, yeah, but why should they fight the Ottomans? But like, well, a, as if there's a Timmy's, then that's gonna be tough. yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, exactly because uh, QQ will need the help of Ottomans against Timurids, and now Ottomans might need help. So, yeah, yeah. I think if you do Diplo right, I think Ottomans are in a good position. I mean, I think the players Mam looks here is usually to fight Ottomans, like because Ottomans outscale you, and uh, you get a good formula in RAM. So, if you manage yeah. to does, get there, does Okta get some ideas since Ottomans has like four ideas completed? He's got fi it fixed up. He was ahead in. Uh, like, Mamluks were ahead, essentially, in admin. Uh, so he got oh. a little bit of mill and a little... I think was ahead in dip as well. He, he got he got some mill. Like four mill ideas already? No, he has, he has two. He got, oh. uh, essentially, the value for these. Uh, for He got the va average of Tunis and Ottomans in mill. Oh. And he already had an ID okay. in religious, but he wanted that refunded, so he got that in refunded in admin instead. Ah, okay. But yeah, he's assigned to the uh, average of uh, Ottomans and Tunis, and he's actually really, really good on a decent take. What do you guys think about Ottomans going quantity first? Uh, it's, uh, I, it's like a greedy option. I yeah, yeah. too greedy, considering you're surrounded by so many hostages. Right? When did he take it? Was it after the war or before the war? Afterwards. The war has been over for quite some time. I think, I think that's strange. Over. I think yeah. that's strange, as I do go to the war, if your economy is going to be so hamstrings. But I mean, I. Ah, but I mean, Ottoman economy usually is pretty decent. I think it's, it's like the highest with England. I mean, I I don't yeah. I don't view quantity as like a very taxing idea on the economy. To be honest, like uh, old and firm enforced service and perhaps even less mercenaries usually. It's it's yeah. you know, it's normally not as costly as people think, especially you don't need to run more artillery because you have a higher force limit. You usually run the same amount and everything costs less. So. I don't think that's a problem, but it does like lack the punch of defensive and to some extent quality, especially once you yeah. finish the second group. I think it's, I think that's a lot to yeah, do with. Also went quantity though. How, wh why did you go quantity over quality? Uh, I mean, we'll get to that while I do it. But yeah. uh, okay. in for Atban's case, I think it's uh, he's played over in Swedit a lot. In Swedit, you have uh, mod, 
mods that make uh, mercenaries way more expensive and manpower way more valuable. So I think that's part of it, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, it's a fairly passive gameplay where you like you really want qual quantity and economics to maximize mm -hmm. the development cost reductions, which is 20% from economic and then the policy with uh, economic and quantity is 10%. Yeah, it. So it's that plus manpower. And I think that might be why he hasn't like fully adapted to the vanilla mindset. I would not have gone quantity in econo in Ottoman's positions, but it's not like the end of the world either. Were, where no. were those some um, janissaries? Or yeah, I don't like this either. I think it's uh, way more important to uh, get your tech and IDs than, taking, than building janissaries. I don't think they're yep. that good. Yep. Especially the way he's using them, which is they're scattered all around, which is not the way to do that. I mean, they are almost all here. He has like one here, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, also, I don't like. Also, you can like if you're a Muslim Ottoman, right? Yeah. Didn't uh, didn't, didn't he swap? Yeah, he did. I assume he rec uh, did. He did not. Uh, no, I thought he did. No, he's still soon. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I would have like you can recruit them and then keep them once you swap. But I I like to swap the Orthodox as Ottomans as well. I don't think they have got as I don't I I think uh, Yenisaris are a bit overrated. They are like uh, a better slacken, but it's only available in the early game. And you don't get the general mm -hmm. from it, and maybe uh, he Pasha is maybe like he useless. So eh. yeah, maybe he wanted to wait for the switch until he gets his heir because I think he gets it like when the king is thirty, so five yeah. years ago. Yeah. T uh, so I think now he probably going to flip. I mean, he's thirty-five. Yeah, that might be. I have no, I have no idea. Like some people really like Dotman government. I think it was quite good before you got a state's general, which I think is like a slightly worse version. It's also like Orthodox yeah. is crazy good, but it's going to be interesting. He has like a lot of different options. On Ottomans, it's a really interesting situation where he has a bunch of hostile neighbors, new seeds to the diplomat. Yeah, really excited to it. If we look towards uh, AQ, which is a player as well, I'm not as excited for his position. Yeah, but he air is dead now, so he lost his great general. Yeah, he joined against the Ottomans, which, I mean, it's a really ambitious move, but what the hell does he do now? Like, <laughs> yeah. even, even if he has, like, Hungary, Poland, and they beat that side, like, what's going to save AQ? I mean, he had to do something, I guess, but I would have, as AQ, I would probably have tried to ally the Ottomans and gotten his help to exp yeah, expand into Mamluks or Karakunlu. What, Mamluks was closed though last session. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, maybe he talked to the Ottomans and makes a deal now, like. Yeah, but he he ha he has Ottoman core Ottoman cores here. Yeah, I mean, if he gives up those two cores and in return Ottomans help him deal with QQ, like it could be helpful for him and for Ottomans as well. I yeah. think so. Ottomans is just gonna make a deal where he splits. AQ with QQ. Yeah, but why would you split AQ? Like, as Ottomans, if you can get Mamluk lands, you're fine. You don't need AQ and QQ necessarily. Not so if you have he wants the land, but because he doesn't, because he wants QQ as his ally, because helping him. Like, yeah, like I see, it seems like AQ isn't AQ isn't that like he also went the uh, quantity, so I don't and ah, okay. and it's not even that he's really far from Miltech six. He doesn't seem to be like of much value as a, an ally even. Okay. I think he just partitioned yeah. his land with someone, be it Mamluks or QQ. Allying AQ would just give, uh, ensure that QQ and Mamluks ally against Ottomans. Yeah, I feel like that way as well. Yeah, but I mean, uh, that would be smart for both of them anyways. I mean, yeah, otherwise, I whoever think. whoever dies to Ottomans, like, let's say QQ allies Ottomans, Ottomans kills Mamluks, then QQ is always like the little brother of the Ottomans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, it just feels like no matter how the diplomatic, there are a bunch of diplomatic options for all the of AQ's neighbors, but I don't really see one where AQ survives in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's yeah. my take, unless fe feel really that. nice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, I, don't, I don't want to talk too much about QQ and Mamluks, but it's the same here. Like, QQ probably, depending on if we get a team read seed or not, he has a... Uh, if, if we don't, uh, we're going to have the expansion limits at Oh yeah, Persia. Persia, so you can actually smack Timrids around a little bit, eat the jam, potentially eat the AQ. He's yeah. in a really good position if there's no Timrid seed. And like Mamluks can just do whatever he wants essentially. But I would try to fight Ottomans in his position. 
Uh, he could also yeah. take, but he could also take the fight to QQ Tunis, though. That's just really bad land. I mean, or theoretically, Arabia. Mamluks could, al yeah, Mamluks theoretically could also go for Persia. Yeah. I think they can form them, right? Yeah, they they can, but if they the more contribute. natural thing is to go Ottomans. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, Ottomans. for Ramia, I think it's I think that's slightly better, but depending on the diplomatic situation, that's an option as well. It's also like if you go for Persia as Mamluks. You're sort of uh, forcing a conflict down the line because I think as Ottomans you always want to aim for trade companies in the mid to late game, since you tend to fall yeah. off without them. So if you as Mamluks go into Persia, you essentially force a late conflict with Ottomans. And if that's the case, why not just deal with them right now and get an arguably stronger formation in Ram if you can snag it? Which I guess is the drawback. It can be hard to get Constantinople as Mamluks to actually get a form Ram. Yeah, uh, but yeah, should we move on to like Lithuania? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Yeah. So Lithuania has uh, a very interesting strategy. He essentially dumped all his uh, admin and dip into development early, and uh, has only focused on mill. I guess the idea here is that he didn't feel like he would essentially live until he got enough IDs for them to make a difference. He has a uh, one mill ruler as well. I, I mean, it's like short term. I think this kind of makes sense. I did something similar in a game where I stopped as Moldavia. I just like dabbed a shit ton with my admin and dip to just get some force limit and punch, and then with the behind on time, you can catch up. So I think it's kind of interesting, but it does I, I hurt you valid, in the long, long run. Early game, yeah. Early game because there's so many ideas that you can start filling out quickly. It, it, it's risky because then when you end up, you know, being behind on an idea, then you lose that five or ten percent discipline. Yeah, I mean, it it gives you so, like a bit of an early boost, but like then in the early mid game, mm -hmm. you're going to be behind until you catch up, and it's really awkward. Yeah, but the good news is Poland really needs his third idea group to finish before he gets his uh, big the military idea. boost. Yeah. So it's kind of okay to be a bit behind, I think. Yeah, but I mean, it, like Poland is about to finish up quality, and Lithuania has no ideas at all. It's going to be really, really grim for him at that point. But I mean, yeah, he also, he he survived against a hostile Poland and Muscovy, which is really difficult as Lithuania. So props to him for that. Yeah. Sorry. Also, the problem uh, with uh, if you do that is you'll start paying corruption, and you're already pretty poor as Lithuania. Yeah, I guess a little bit. I think it's going. It, it adds. I think it'll just all add. It's yeah, but I, I think it's going to start taking these now. He has a fifteen percent uh, behind on time, so he's going to like wait for rena renaissance to spread a little bit, embrace yeah. it, and then yeah. maybe grab like <laughs> two or three Hello, tech levels at the same yeah. time. Hello, Nano. Welcome aboard. Sorry. <laughs> I think Poland's gonna kill him. Yeah, I mean, most likely Lithuania yeah. is going to die with the hostile Muscovy and Poland. That's a really difficult position. But, uh, I mean, he's done well, hang on, so far. <coughs> and he's, like, really reliant on his Ottoman alliance, and if Ottoman... And, like, depends on how Ottoman's diplomacy goes with QQ and Mamluks, how, like, able he, say, he is to help Lithuania in conflicts over in the East. But, yeah. So, I don't think Lithuania is going to survive at all. Po uh, Ottoman is not going to risk his entire economy for a country that has, like, is going to die anyways. He yeah, already said that, I think. I'm not so sure though, because when the coalition fired Lithuania helped Ottomans and bled pretty badly for it, so, I mean, yeah. Yeah, good. Ottomans definitely owns Lithuania for that one. Oh, we forgot about that war. Feel the same way. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about Poland? He didn't really expand much last session, did he? No. He, no. But he, doesn't, he doesn't need to. He, he had a bad starting. Lithuania. Yeah, and with a good uh, six, four, five, six, or what it is. I yeah, mean, just... Poland next, next session, Poland will be expanding a lot. Yeah, I think his, so. His one and only aim at the moment is to kill Lithuania, and he won't stop until he gets it. <coughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like he's in a position to defend himself. Uh, Nano, no, you're going to have to fix your mic a little bit. You're like being fussy. It's not, it's not nice to listen to. Sorry. Nano, are you part of the campaign? Yeah, he's playing yeah. Hungary. Hungary? Oh, you're the Hungary. Player. Yeah, okay. yeah. But I mean, it, see if you can get it fixed, then the rest of us will just keep uh, talking. He about. left, I think he'll oh, okay. come back. Alright, excellent. But yeah, I mean, Poland mm -hmm. didn't get that much done this session, but he's looking, he's really strong right now. With he just quantity. consolidated inwardly. Yeah, he flipped, yeah. flipped orthodox. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, to be honest, like in the game that I played, Poland in another server, I made a deal with Lithuania. He gave me the provinces to form Ruthenia, and in return, I helped him. And I think that's more efficient than death warring Lithuania. Did you, have to, did you have to sell them back, though? No, no. I got the provinces, and uh, in return, I helped him against Russia, basically. Uh, the so the I got them for free. Yeah. What? The Ruthenian provinces you need, are they right in the border, or do you have to... No, no, it's... Uh, it's they I are like over here. Kiev. Yeah, it's uh, not too much, okay. and in return he formed Russia, I formed Ruthenia, like, it was yeah. good for both players. Yeah, I mean, I will say I don't really like this approach by Poland. I think, uh, like, I mean, it's, like, short term it's really attractive to split Lithuania with Muscovy, but uh, long term it just leaves you with a monster Russia that you have a really hard time dealing with, so... I also sort of prefer to just try to make a deal and help Lithuania over doing the whole split yeah. thing. But where do you expand them as Poland? Yeah, and I mean, Poland right now is allied yeah. to Sweden, and Sweden took most of the Teutons, which is like, I'd rather go for the Teutonic Order, the Danzig provinces and that stuff, than yeah, go yeah. after Lithuania. That's, I think, more efficient. Yeah, I mean, like, for example, you obviously take the Teutonic Order. I have no idea why, like, Poland allows uh, Sweden to take this. Does he, like, want Sweden to form Prussia? No, it's not even allowed to purge No, it's not allowed, so I don't understand why he allows I mean, I, I guess it's Baltic node, so it benefits Sweden, but still, I uh, I think it's like... I think Poland has played... It, like, Poland is obviously doing great in regards to tech and ideas, but uh, it feels like he's missed a huge opportunity to expand. You have a really, really strong peak early with your god ruler, and mm -hmm. you have a mil tech yeah. timings on... It. Like, I if you're going to split Lithuania, you should really at least get it done for a session. Otherwise, it's How really How many awkward. loans does he have? I, I don't think he has he... much, too. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Poland is still looking okay, but I, it's not like the approach I would have taken. Uh, yeah. So, we, I guess, let's go jump up to Sweden uh, first, yeah. before we go, like, Hungary and stuff, in case Nano managed to get his mic sorted and comes back. Oh, is my mic better? Uh, he's back. Yeah. I think it's slightly better, yeah? Wait, take over from me. I'll be right back. Yeah. So, I mean, looking at Sweden, I think he had a... Uh, it looks like he had a fairly good first session. I have no idea why people give him everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, why... Yeah, he has Norway as well. Uh, Norway is a player. Yeah. But they made a deal, I guess. Yeah, I think Norway is just going to Exodus and Sweden gets the land. I mean, so far I'm like with you, but why is he allowed to like take Livonian Order and Teutonic Order? Yeah, I mean, why is Russia not um, try and why is Poland not fighting for like Teutonic Order also? Like I mean, Sweden has some friendship with Musk with Poland going on, but why is he getting? Why is he as like the weakest party getting yeah. all the good shit? I don't know at all, to be honest. S I mean, he should be mentioned. He killed Livon in order. I'm not sure if it was a very exciting war or not, but uh, I, mean, I can understand why Poland would allow him to take two tons. For now, because he doesn't want Sweden to be allying Lithuania. You give him concessions so he doesn't but join and then later on kill him. But why? I mean, like. Now he makes just Sweden stronger and Lithuania is still alive. I mean, I mean, if, if, if you as Pol. Like, if it, it would be a thing if you were hostile to Muscovy or, like, didn't have a deal there, but if Poland and Muscovy are friends and splitting Lithuania, like, if Sweden joins against them, he just gets crushed. So it doesn't really matter. Sweden, Sweden early has like no punch at all. It's really, really vulnerable. Yeah, I think so. when I looked through the safe, I actually thought that Sweden was a really weak nation. Like if if he wasn't allied to Muscovy, I would be really scared if I was him that Muscovy just kills me next session because he has almost no money. He has loans. He has no manpower. Like yeah, I mean Sweden early like. You can do some damage if you go above force limit and just smack someone down, especially if you get the available Merc uh, modifier event. But uh, your economy is so damn vulnerable. You like uh, you really, yeah. really don't want to death for early Sweden. You just fall so far behind. He's in a disaster as well, isn't he? Yeah, he is yeah, clearly a disaster. So, yeah, see, I mean, I mean, props to Sweden, I guess. You're really fucking weak and you managed to make uh, two of the strongest powers <laughs> in the East like uh, do your bidding, essentially. I have no idea why, but well, good play. <laughs> uh, good deploy, yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks like he's getting. Oh, actually, Hamburg took Shellands, and. Uh, oh, yeah, Livonia or <laughs> Order, whose dad took uh, this, so that's fine. But yeah, I guess he might come into conflict with Hamburg, that's about it. 
which would be sort of a proxy war, since none of Hamburg and Sweden have any punch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, I guess doing a quick look at Norway, he is doing really well actually on uh, mana and ideas. Yeah. Oh, he can embrace. He yeah, that. he's just wait he's, I guess he's waiting for it to spread a little bit, can embrace and then... Uh, bump up. manpower and that money he might even be able to, like if he wanted to, could even beat up Sweden right now. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's deleted his forts, he has 13 force ah, limit. Okay. Uh, uh, while Sweden is weak, like this Norway is just... <laughs> it's it's not like even a nation if when it comes to military. Oof. It's uh, pathetic, but like based on what he's doing, uh, going exploration first, Fine. just taking three points and then probably going to... Yeah. Um, uh, Dip Tech 7, I'm almost certain he's doing an exodus to the new world. So, yeah. I mean, he could partition Sweden with Moscovy pretty he, easily if he wanted to. He so. could, but, yeah, why do but, you, yeah. but why do you play Norway yeah. if you're going to go land? So it's like, you could become a naval I mean, power in Europe, but that's about it. I, I'm proud of him so far. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's doing the whole exodus thing, which is lame as fuck, but uh, he's doing it well so far. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if it's fun for him, I mean... No, he should go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's jump back down to Hungary, since Nano is back. Uh, so, Nano, do you ca care to tell us a little bit about last session? Okay, so basically last session was... It was a bit confusing, because I, I joined... I made a deal with the Ottomans to be his ally. Yeah. And then I saw the coalition, and I was like, okay, well, I can just get some free Serbian lands if I join this. However, it was a coalition war, so I couldn't get any lands. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, the Venice player left as well. So I had a deal with the Venetian player that could give me uh, Damasha and the lands he owns down there, yeah. He was going to give me that for free. However, he quit, so I'm going to have to fight for that as well. But uh, really, the, the main thing I'm looking forward to this upcoming session is the diplomacy that I'm going to be having with the Ottomans and the Polish player, because I don't know where it's going to go. It can really go both ways. If the Polish player doesn't agree with uh, a lot of my foreign policies, then that's just going to make me angry towards them. And yeah, I have right. made a very heavy emphasis on military, of course. Yeah, fair. And, I mean, I'm trying my, I'm trying my best to... Um, I'm trying my best to keep up the economy at the same time by so, devving my land. But it's did, not did the I, best economy, but yeah. Did I get this straight? Did you ally Ottomans and then accidentally join a coalition against them? No, not oh, accidentally. I didn't accidentally, no. So you're admitting on stream that you backstabbed him? Nah. Well, not backstabbing if he was going to do it to me first. <laughs> yes, uh, I appreciate this. Uh, but just a question, Nano. Uh, I appreciate the honesty. Like I saw the like mid midway through the session, I saw the border deal you made with the Ottomans, and I'm like, yeah. Why? Why? Because like at the start, Ottomans have truces with like all your neighbors, so you should be able to eat them yeah. all up before he can even touch them. But instead, you gave him like most of the Balkan neutrals, essentially. Like yeah, why? because I'm, I made a deal with them before we even started the session. I don't really like breaking deals. Yeah, I mean, and, I just uh, feel like it's a, it was like a very generous deal. Were you like afraid of him going after you or something? Yeah, because he came in very strong with his diplomacy and it seemed like he had a lot of backup. Oh, okay. I didn't have a lot of backup. I had Austria as a defensive ally. He didn't want to help an offensive war against Ottomans. And Poland was too busy with Lithuania. Now... Things changed a bit when the Byzantium player joined, because that's when a coalition was mounting against the Ottomans. But then uh, the Byzantium player ended up not showing up, and the coalition fell apart. Okay. Fair yeah, enough. we were not able to get him in. Like he couldn't connect for some reason. We yes. tried it for like yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm I'm very I mean, sorry. Now that I have the black a... army, it should be fine. Uh, I have the black army, which means it gives my mercs 110 percent discipline. Yeah. Um, once I get admin tech 5, I take quality, or I don't know which ideas yet. Mm. Um, but I'm not very afraid of the Ottomans at all. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I think Ottomans are stronger than you, but uh, Hungary is definitely looking oh, quite good stronger, right now. But the thing is, yeah, I've got my allies that will help me in the defensive war. Yeah. And if yeah, the Ottomans yeah, declare war on me, the Polish are going to join in as well. Yeah, that's nice. Are you allied to Poland and Austria? or? I'm allied to Austria, 
but Poland would uh, just declare a separate war in the Ottoman. Okay, interesting. Oh, that would be risky though. I mean, he could, yeah. like, he's not a great power, so he could also just be invited into the war afterwards. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, looking good so far. I don't, I don't like, I think the deal was uh, very generous to the Ottomans, but it makes sense if you felt uh, threatened early. And then you try to yeah. strike back when he I mean, there's lots vulnerable. of room, lots of opportunity to expand for the freed nations. I can keep it and eat it. Yeah. Yeah, and now that the Mamluks and, and the QQ. And now with the new nations in Mamluks and QQ, Ottomans is also like. Before they were basically safe to the east, more or less, and now they mm -hmm. have like two borders to worry about. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was expecting if I was sitting in Ottomans, I was just going to death war Hungary, no matter what happened. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, it seems you had like no way to expand eastwards, essentially. I guess you yeah, could either take that this. or or death by Poland with Lithuania together. Yeah, like, but it's like them out. yeah, but it's like way better to just establish control of Constantinople to me. So I, I don't even think Ottomans is in any position right now to go westward. No, I mean uh, it depends a lot on his diplomacy over here, but most likely I think Ottomans is actually in a really nasty position for next session. Despite being really How strong. How much loans is he in? I don't think he's in like any loans. I think one or two maybe. Mm, yeah, oh, five loans. I mean, it's still not a lot with his income to be honest. He's going at ten. He has forts active during peacetime, which is a little bit odd. But I guess. And, and, and he can always do the like religious thing where he takes two corruption for money and then uses the religious thing to reduce it again. So Yeah, especially since he wants to flip orthodox anyways, you know. Best religion. Yeah. But yeah, moving on, uh, how about you tell me a little bit about the uh, Habsburgs, Leon? <laughs> yeah, I well, mean... the Habsburgs, this game, they're gonna take a very, very defensive approach. Uh, he doesn't want to expand a lot, apart from into the HRE. Yeah, like, I mean, I I mean, I am playing Habsburg, so, um, <laughs> basically, oh, <hello. laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I um, in, initially my plan was, like, because the Bohemia player is new to the server, I didn't want to fight him. So um, I didn't want to fight Milan either, because also a new player. So I made a deal with Milan to split Venice. But then Venice was a player, and so I basically said, okay, I'm just going to eat South Germany and stay out of everything else early on. Which also seems not like a super bad strategy as Austria, because you have to build up strength relatively quickly, because once the princes all die, your force limit goes down by like 40 and so if you you're strong early on and if you don't use that strength you basically lose it pretty yeah, quickly yeah but if you eat also ai income? like you aren't yeah, really you're losing, losing the, skill. the strength at the same time sure but i mean yeah i mean but yeah, as is nice but as is with like when it's gone i guess that's a good chunk of land you can eat and you yeah, you I, have I, the tyrol event right yeah yeah, yeah i probably I mean, now that he's not no longer a player, I'm probably gonna split him with Milan, I guess. And Hungary gets the provinces that he was promised, so I think we're gonna just eat Venice next session. Which provinces would go to Milan then? Um, I think Brescia, Verona, and possibly Venice. So I'm not greedy, like getting two or three provinces, like Trivisu, Friuli, and Istria would be fine for me. Okay, yeah. that's very wholesome. I mean, this, this, I'm not sure yeah. about this, Leon. Is this actually happening? Because, like, it feels like you're going to fall off hard as uh, Austria if you go this route. So I, I wonder oh. if this is just a ploy. <laughs> why would I? Why would I fall off hard? Like, the only thing I'm currently a bit, little bit concerned about, like, uh, Bohemia started making claims on me, which I didn't understand because like, I left. Uh, yeah, the Bohemia. I left him alone and and didn't uh, didn't attack him and was wholesome and then. As a revenge, he make he starts making claims. Yeah, maybe he's so. yeah he's uh, a bit more <laughs> he's a bit more of a man than you. <laughs> but I mean, looking at it like what what will you be able to get? Maybe like uh, forty provinces total, maybe. Uh, like you'll be at uh, like 50, 15 states as most. Like it'll cover you for a while, but uh, and it's yeah, good, it's mean, good to have like, like it's not like you'll be irrelevant, but you will fall off. It seems like it's too little land for you yeah. to cover your states eventually. So once the emperor benefits Possibly. goes away, it feels like you'll fall off a little bit. Maybe. And yeah, I mean, on the other hand, most of the land I'm going to get is really like good to develop. So yeah. 
I mean, like you yeah, can definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's a double-edged sword. Like, I mean, you can you can definitely like play a fairly tall Austria, like just dev shit. But I feel like, uh, for example, for this is a little bit too little to do so with, and without like I mean, falling off compared to like France and Muscovy, Ottoman stuff like that. But that's yeah, not his but... initial plan. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, at no, the same time, yeah. I'm not going to fight uh, players at the same time, so I'm not going to have like death war all the time. Yeah, I mean, like, like for example, a lot of nations going to have to have heavy player wars, and so I'm going to have better resource management early on, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, for example, I'm currently have like AI. I have a thousand ducats at the moment, for example. So why? I mean, do, why like, I, I understand money? it's not it's it's not the most like co competitive play, but uh, yeah. I mean, I that's, that's fair. I mean, I'm just like uh, talking I about. I think you're in a great position, Leo. I mean, you got you're making really good money, and you're you got one of the highest force limits and manpower. Yeah, it's lo it's just like Aust Austria is really strong early, uh, yeah. and I think it, I think for Austria to ma maintain its strength, it needs to u leverage it essentially, and I don't feel like this I strategy feel like does you so. I need to take care of the Bohemian threat north. Uh, like if, yeah. if you, I don't feel Poland's Bohemia, gonna stay very loyal to the you. The game goes on. Bohemia is gonna fall off way harder than Austria. Bohemia has really bad ideas, and he's on top of that, he's going diplo ideas. Yeah, he went diplo ideas, so he's going to fall off a little bit. So yeah. Austria, I mean, Austria that's Austria Bohemia, certainly a possibility. That yeah, I mean, like Austria is obviously good. I just uh, like want it to was, discuss the uh, overall strategy as well. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy. Also, like Bohemia, for example, was allied to Lithuania and Ottoman. So even if I wanted to go for him, like it's, yeah. That's not like an easy war. Yeah, I mean, it's not like yeah, you'll taper off really no soon or anything. Allied. You have. Uh, they might may not no longer be allied, but even if they are not, they can just re ally and then. Oh, wait, they oh, are. He's allied to right. Ottomans now, interesting. Yeah. yeah, he was all the time, basically. So. Yeah, looking at. I mean, essentially, you're, you're strong. We'll see if you manage to find a way to make leverage that strength and like maintain it, or if uh, you'll fall off later on. But right now, like, Austria is always looking good. If we go over to Bohemia, he should die for picking diplomatic ideas. Uh, next nation <laughs> uh, is <laughs> okay. I mean, he's new to multiplayer though. Like, I think this is the first multiplayer campaign for him, which is why I didn't go to kill him. Like, if he had asked me to give him tips or anything, I would have done that too. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I intended to be pretty nice to him. Building, so, this yeah. Is already toxic. Oh yeah, I f I forgot to ask. Like, why haven't you built any temples? He's, he's uh, before we jump over away from Austria. Yeah, I mean, I, I could only really build like at in Tyrol. You don't want to build one. I mean, I because think you need I th the building slots. I think you can like easily uh, with okay, like one this, more would be possible. Like yeah, for, with this be. one in Tyrol, you could easily have a temple here and make it pay itself off uh, before you yeah, need to replace it. And like V and definitely you have uh, slots stuff like that. So. Yeah. yeah, I was kind of saving up for Tech 6 so I can put down workshops, but... Okay, yeah, fair. Yeah, it's fair enough. Like, it's only a few temples that are really, really good, but you have, like... I, yeah, I mean, I could build the top 3, that's true. Like, that that might be a good idea for next session. Yeah. I, I would, at least. Uh, but yeah, looking at Bohemia, he's, he does have some infrastructure up and running. Uh, I guess he's, he hasn't really been involved in any, any harsh wars either, he's just been expanding, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, surprised that he doesn't have deft his provinces more. Like, I would expect Praha, for example, to be higher deft now. It's still at 19. Yeah, I think it's. I think he's. Like, just going diplomatic ideas seems to indicate that he's really, really new to multiplayer. Probably yeah. his first game, so. And I mean, given that it's his first game, he's doing quite well. He has uh, strong alliance networks. He hasn't died to, like, Austria and Brandenburg combined or something. What? You yeah, but even diplo offensive. But even then, you start with offensive, not with diplo. Right? Yeah, and you don't. Especially you don't, with that king, like with that king, if you have like uh, I don't know two six one or something, you go okay. Diplo don't first. No. <laughs> I mean, like of, even if you want to go for the diplo offensive, uh, like policy, you always want economic as your non-mill group before that. So like the soonest you can do this, uh, yeah. ID group four, probably ID group six. So. I Especially as Bohemia, economics is so great because all the land you have is like already extremely good to develop. Like you have a bunch of like farmlands, yeah. you have hey, grasslands. Yeah. Did he dev his um, gold mine? I think not. I think Where is the gold mine now again? 
There it is, Shep, Shep, yeah, this is the cold one. Uh, nope, he hasn't added it. Yeah, I mean, there are yeah, some... Yeah, but I mean, uh, he, yeah, he's not used to multiplayer, so it's kind of hard to criticize. Yeah, I, mean, I, th I think he's done well we, for someone who's anybody. new to multiplayer, essentially. But obviously... And he's playing for Emperor, by the way. Oh. That's that one I realized instantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's actually had a lot of AI alliances. He has some... And he's he, almost there. And he and he kept the the mission that which gives him plus one diplo relations also like he can um, I would like to say that this is also not criticism but we're just trying to like give our opinions and people yeah. Can, like, yeah yeah i mean i'll criticize the hell out of people but you know take it with a grain <laughs> of salt <laughs> yeah i mean for someone who is new at the game I've, or at new at multiplayer at least i think the nation is looking fine but it's quite obvious yeah. that it's not someone who's new to who is experienced in multiplayer and I've given that if he ends up with a conflict against uh, Leon, this might be really <laughs> interesting. <laughs> like even even just like claiming you, like something I've noticed in new yeah. players, they don't realize that it pops up in your interface when you claim someone else. So you might not even like realize yeah. that uh, you know about <laughs> him claiming you. One, one thing I, one thing I forgot to say by the way, I did get far setting, which was something I was really working on in Straubing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. One of them is like you've strong. obviously got an, a good border with him. Like you've got the most to clay here, so he's going to have to act also as well. Like when I say that you're on a timer, Bohemia is way more on a timer. He needs to yeah. leverage his or like Bohemia is in a fairly good position at the start with his god ruler, but he needs to leverage that into expansion routes and ideally like a Poland or Pr Poland doesn't, or Prussia doesn't... formation. But doesn't Bohemia start with uh, Regency or something like that? Uh, uh, yeah, but they get uh, an event that gives them a god yeah. ruler like right away. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So that that's like their early perk essentially that they are ahead on a decent tech for the early game. But yeah, moving on mm. to Brandenburg. Like Brandenburg, just like Sweden, I think has gotten a really nice deal, I suppose. Since he has mm. uh, gotten dancing in Königsberg for whatever reason. <laughs> I think it wasn't a deal, it was like he snatched it from them. And oh, okay. They yeah. were not happy about it. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> what the... What the oh, he had, and he has Austria as his only ally? This is uh, ballsy. We're allied to each other, yeah. Okay. I mean, very ballsy Brandenburg. But, like, looking at it... Um, oh, he's had some bad luck with his ruler. Good air, though. He went uh, quality, right? Yeah, he went quality. Good choice, especially yeah. when if he's going to try what to snap. Economy looking like? Economy is probably trash. Yeah, it's terrible as Brandenburg yeah. early. But like, give it like it was a short session, and given that, I think he's expanded well. Especially yeah. when it's a fairly yeah. low AE, so he'll be able to eat a few more provinces. I think he's done well for himself. I would like to see yeah, like yeah, maybe yeah, more advisors, yeah. given that he's run, he's actually flo floating some money. But yeah. I think this looks fairly good. I didn't even realize we only passed 24 years. Yeah, yeah. we had some mess at the start, yeah. and it's like. It's always the first session. Is yeah, and we had player boss early on, so we were at speed 2 for a fairly long time. So. I mean, we tried to do speed 3, but people lied behind. Yeah. Okay, he's, a, he's actually allied to Hamburg as well, so they're probably splitting this up in some way. That means that he's going to be trapped fairly soon and trying to find a way to expand. Likely into Bohemia, Maybe I suppose. Into Bohemia. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's also this is like it's a fairly good Brandenburg start. But even with a good start as Brandenburg, you're really, really vulnerable for a really long time. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the diplomacy works out once uh, all these miners are ate up and Brandenburg, Hamburg, they all get bigger. Because yep. it, it's quite obvious Bohemia won't survive. Like he's going to go out one way or another because he's allied to the Ottomans, Lithuania, right? Yeah, and he he's basically surrounded himself with enemies. All his allies are so far away. Yeah, but I, I agree. after Bohemia is dead, the German states where they're going to go to expand east with yeah. Poland, fight against Poland, Sweden or France. They're going to have to befriend one of them. Yeah, but I feel or, like kill each, or kill each other. <laughs> yeah, I feel like no, no, no. I don't think Brandenburg will kill Hamburg. If he wanted to do that, then he would be playing very aggressively. Like, by the end of this war, if he tries to cut off Hamburg by taking land that he's not meant to, then it's quite obvious that uh, he's going to be wanting to kill him. But so far, he's seen to look for an endless endgame ally. Yeah, I mean... Did Hamburg get yeah. Ceylon? 
yeah, yeah, like this is really interesting. I wonder if this is like a deal with uh, Sweden, but I'm more inclined to think it's uh, like a fuck you move. <laughs> Which, yeah, I, uh, I think Hamburg and Brandenburg, like I don't know it, but I think Hamburg and Brandenburg work together more or less. Yeah, yeah, for, right now they definitely do. I imagine that Sweden Hamburg will and, get to form Hanover. And Sweden and Poland kind of as a response that work together as well. I mean, yeah. that's what I take away from the situation. And unfortunately for Brandenburg and Hamburg, Poland is an actual nation, whilst, while all of the rest of these guys are really weak. <laughs> Yeah. I think um, Lithuania might have found itself a uh, new allies versus Poland. I guess, but I, like Brandenburg has a little bit of punch, but Hamburg has like none. Twelve force Yeah, limits. but Hamburg, so... Hamburg has money though. Like does he? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean he, he has some in the bank, <laughs> but he has twelve twelve ducats income. Like it's not useless. I don't but... think Brandenburg would look forward to fighting on Lithuania's side because you just make everyone hate him. Yeah, that's true too. Well, but awesome I mean. Yeah, I mean, there, re there is some interesting potential here with like Bohemia, Brandenburg and Lithuania banding together against Poland, especially if there becomes friction between Hungary and Poland as well, so there are some interesting I mean, diplomatic options, Bra for sure. Brandenburg really only has to wait until Edmund 10, because then he can get at least Prussia, which, I mean, it doesn't instantly it help him. So does he have <laughs> no, all but the problems? Yeah, he does. But it's at least something he can hold on to. Like yeah, I mean, like if Brandenburg lives, if he doesn't even need to expand that much more to become relevant at least. But he need, he needs time essentially. He needs the time to gobble up the small miners, get some infrastructure up, and ideally form Prussia. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe he should bomb. actually have gone quantity. Like for Brandenburg, it might have made sense. Uh, I, I I like quality here still. I don't like. I think it's too slow quantity. Like uh, quantity for Brandenburg doesn't really do anything until you get the force limit ID, which is last one. So it's really slow, because okay. uh, they like manpower, if you start writing at F4, you can uh, go all mercs essentially. Manpower barely matters for you at this size, so I like the quality choice. Okay. But that's just me. I'm very opinionated, <laughs> you're wrong, I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, uh, looking over at Hamburg, like, it's very interesting, the cell and cutoff, and beyond that is... Uh, very limited on expansion, but with him taking Selland, he can actually take like most of Denmark and the two remaining Livonian Order provinces, potentially. He yeah, also uh, he also he's cut off by Sweden a bit. Yeah. Potentially right now. Yeah, like is Sweden going to take Schleswig? And if so, it's going to be really nasty to keep Selland as uh, uh, Sweden actually has thirteen galleys. Is that dark red Burgundy? No, yeah, that's this one. Livonian oh, this is one yeah. where it's just dead. Uh, um, it's also important to note that Hamburg, I think, uh, dropped after the first half of the session because um, I don't know if it was internet or if he had to go somewhere. Uh, but uh, will so he get a, a golden error refunded or? Oh, actually, wasn't it Hamburg that? Ha oh, yeah, Hamburg got a new schedule, so he can't even co come back. I think that's it, actually. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so actually, that's Hamburg is probably not going to be played. I think it would die to Sweden, anyways. But that's going to be. Not nice for Brandenburg, like Cologne, and Sweden to grab a small clay. But I would have liked to see a Hamburg uh, on just to add a bit yeah. more counterweight to Sweden and Muscovy and Poland. Yeah, I it mean, it would have been like interesting to see how the situation develops. Yeah, and clearly, Willem would have been excited to see a potential Hanover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't think it's like too. I don't think Hamburg would have lived too long. I don't think it's like leaves a vacuum or anything with him going away. But it was yeah, a really interesting move to steal. Yes, if, like, interesting, stealing Shallan was an ambitious and interesting move, but I think it would just have killed him in the end. Uh, moving on to Koln. Oh, how, is it just K-U-N? Yes, there we go. Uh, I mean, Koln, I think, is like the weakest nation in the game. <laughs> Actually. Probably. Maybe AQ, not... Uh, no, no, AQ is way stronger. But they did get they did get some expansion down, right? Yeah, I mean, it's How like... Yeah, they got some big like expansion four? down. I'm surprised this economy is so bad. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really small nation. Like, It's not like it's not and terrible, but you start out really, really slow as Colin. I think you have a fairly... Med it's like a medium ruler as well. So not a good perk there either. I wonder if yeah, with... It's uh, like yeah, I wonder if he's going to uh, go for Hanover IDs. I think they are like marginally better than the Divine IDs, but Divine aren't like useless or anything. 
with Hamburg disappearing? Yeah, Vine have great um, government reforms. You get twenty percent or fifty percent morale. Yeah, I guess like that's that's the that's the only one that's good though. <laughs> I think. Oh Poland wow! Could actually become a contending Worst power. Cost versus other religion can get useful. Yeah, wow, yeah, but the the usual one, number two, fifteen percent manpower, I think, is still better. Like, uh, yeah, which one? If you're blobbing into AI, it can this one? You mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think like like uh, for uh, theocracies, I think this one is really nice. But as a whole, I think it's, it's worse three, and you don't get to disinherit or control your yeah, heirs yeah. at all. So it's like a really limiting government reform. I, if I was him, I would like go for Republic or Monarchy once I get down here and just use the early perks. And yeah, uh, probably, you can probably change earlier, right? Just by forming an organization. Yeah, does Hanover for give you Kingdom? I don't remember. I think I don't, so. I don't, I, don't, so I, don't, sure. I don't think it does. I can remember you staying at, being able to stay as Republic as Hanover, but I might be mistaken. Oh yeah, I think you can, as Westphalia, you go into Kingdom, but as Hanover you don't, so you could form uh, uh, you could form uh, Westphalia to get rid of the government if you feel like it, but like this is fine going down here and then sh switching. Yeah, it's only five reforms. And I mean, yeah, it, like early on is quite okay. Like it's not like the reforms are bad. It's, or, I mean, some of them are bad, <laughs> but uh, it's mostly the fact that uh, you have too few reforms. So you can yeah. just swap out later and the ruler, she obviously. But right now he has. F oh, okay, I guess not. <laughs> At what least it's like nine average. He's board he is bordering Burgundy directly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Colin is very dependent on his diplomacy because this nation is incredibly weak right now, which is a given considering his starting position. So he's just like uh, reliant on Burgundy staying friendly or at least not openly hostile with him. Uh, or the he... Emperor defending him. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, did, I always. Entire session. I, I've not done nothing else but fight Burgundy in France for the Empire. Like. Wait, you only fought me once. <laughs> or twice, I don't know, but I, at Burgundy no, I think France I fought at least four or five. Time. I mean, th this podcast is not for pointless propaganda. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 Essentially, Austria just bailed when uh, France is uh, doing show strength on HRE members. But yeah, uh, looking Wait, at what? this... What? No, I, I didn't show strength on any HRE man. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, no, whatever. We just ate Genoa. Oh, okay. Ate uh, Genoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Savoy. Oh, and so. Savoy, okay, twice. Yeah. <laughs> twice, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Cole essentially just needs to stay friendly with Burgundy or find other strong allies, otherwise they are in a really precarious position. But given time, could become relevant, or at least be like a first Brandenburg. <laughs> I, but I feel like he'll also be boxed and just... Yeah, all the nations that are I mean, it's it's re it's really good for him that Austria. Hamburg goes away. To be honest, he could get some like he has some space here if Bohemia goes away as well. Like I think, uh, isn't that the, Austrian clay though? I mean, he uh, might try to snag something like, uh, and Brandenburg is sort of cutting it off. Obviously, it's not a good position for Cologne. It's never a good position for Cologne, but um, there is some hope, I guess, if he plays his diplomacy <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Before we do West Europe, should we jump down and finish up the HRE with the Italians? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about Milan, Carl? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so at the start, this is my first multiplayer game, so I don't really uh, know what I'm doing. <laughs> you have not I'm gone diplomatic with... ideas, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've played the game a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I definitely don't, I'm I'm not used to like, you know, pausing and all that. Like I usually just pause and just win by scared margin, I guess. So yeah. uh, I try to build up like uh, diplomatically with me and the Pope. Uh, first me and Austria and Hungary to kill Venice, but then we got a Venice player, so that that went down the drains. And then I just uh, work with the Pope uh, to like split Italy, and then we try to kill Venice. Uh, and I, w I was like, yeah, we can do this. Uh, Hungary joins. <laughs> we should be, we should win every battle. Uh, like me and me and the Pope can siege down and peace out uh, the small nation in Italy. And then Hungary should just kill like one Venice once, and then this war should be easy. And then Hungary <laughs> didn't join. <laughs> and then I'm looking there like, hey, when, are you, when are you joining? We're, we're fucking dead. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm busy, boy. And then 
I called in France and he saved my ass. So uh, yeah. I guess you can. Ch I can change my name to v Vassal of France, pretty much, because like I mean, uh, the team owning Genoa. Open. I, I can't <laughs> the, really. The do thing much. is, like, I realized that you caught me on a bad time because I just came out the coalition with Ottoman, so I had no manpower to fight. And then I saw Venice just a hundred percent occupy you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for you to join because we are the shittest siege uh, ticks. Like I, I managed to siege down two level two forts, and then the Pope, he was on like a level one fort in Sayana for like three fucking years. And I was like, come on, this needs to end, and it didn't end. It didn't end, and eventually, like after we peaced out, he still hadn't gotten the fort, so. That was I want just to so bad luck. I want to use this uh, this moment to say that in the past we had two times on the server that a Milan player actually died because of bad siege ticks. Once I think against Pope and once against Venice, both times AI. So yeah, I'm, not, I you're not the first teams. one. It's not the first time yeah, that I, I'm your... you get a little bit unlucky, and especially since Milan is a farmland fort, it falls relatively quickly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it bad luck if you're dying to an AI, to be honest, but, you know, to each their own. AI with, uh, with uh, I think it was 50,000 or 60,000 uh, versus mine uh, 17,000. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, Venice can be surprised I, I managed, stronger I early with the trade uh, league. I, I was doing good. Like, if the Pope had fucked uh, me with the siege uh, <laughs> and then Hungary not joining, I wouldn't have started the war in the first place. Yeah. And I would have yeah. just uh, gone for Genoa and not be now. And now I'm pretty much Francis' bitch, I think, to the end of the oh. game. No, uh, uh, you, you just no, need to no, strike no. out with might. And, like, you There's just need, no way. You just need like, a coalition uh, France, like, uh, easy. Wait, what? No. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I, I literally, I was very pissed by being called in. I almost, I was thinking about declining the call because you didn't give any, like, preparation. You just called me in without saying anything. Yeah, it was not, you know, I, did, I, I was not planning on doing that, but the Pope was like, Call him in, call him in, we're fucking dead! And I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they, they just siege down Rome, and we're, like, stuck on Siena, like, uh, b like, uh, like, uh, like a black flag, and, like, if we move one province, and we are, like, uh, like, all full siege down, and I'm like, yeah, this is done. And then they just, and you joined. Uh, I was like, okay, like, I'll white piece this. Uh, so, and I'll pay him back, but. Okay, I mean. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't gain much. It sounds like Wait, you had a very exciting piece? time. I, lo I lost 50,000 mil Milanese men. Did I, you white I went piece like my. Uh, white piece, or did you white piece because you thought you could win the war? No, no. The Pope uh, pretty much just like I'm leaving. Uh, if oh, you know, okay. if you don't want to white piece this now, you can fight the rest on your own. And I, and I had <laughs> zero manpower, two rebels, <laughs> four four hundred ducats in debt, and ten uh, like uh, war exhaustion. So I, I, I pretty much just white pieced. Yeah. And I, I, I and like I recovered my country to like before the war soon, like pretty much now. Yeah, I but, mean, uh, like I, I can, I can, uh, like uh, me and the, the plan is now is to just declare on Sayana to call in Venice, and then try again. But yeah. But wait, yeah. did the Pope leave yeah. permanently? Or is he coming back next session? Yeah, I, no, he, he hasn't left. I think. No, nah, I think it's been a player the entire time. Yeah, he, me and him, we, I was just chilling. Like I had candy, and uh, I was just pretty much <laughs> just trying to understand multiplayer. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a hard learning curve. This For sure. Like, For right sure. now. Yeah, because yeah. I'm, like, uh, I'm stuck with a lot of players around me. I can't really expand much besides Venice right now. So, I will try that. And, yeah. Um, How much damage does Milan have? I can't have? do much. It's like 100 now, what? now? 116? Yeah, I, I have, uh, I've done pretty okay with the development, but, like, the war with Venice and... Everything going against me. I, I mean, pretty. I'm, I'm down to like uh, at the start of the game power, pretty much. Yeah. If you sell one province to Papal State, you could arrange a deal where I vassalize you. Uh, you die if you get <laughs> vassalized. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably I'm, not the license. That's a trap. That's a trap. <laughs> yeah. But so I mean, my hope not... was that uh, like I was like, oh, he's uh, declaring on Savoy. Ah, that's fine. Like he can grab those provinces. Those are like French provinces. Oh, he's vassalized uh, 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 Provence. Oh, okay, okay, that's 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 uh, that's okay, as long as it doesn't go against Genoa. And then against Genoa, and I'm like, okay, you can grab that one province, 
and then you fully annex them, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was like, okay, oh, at least Austria will save me, and he's like, yeah, I'm staying out of that, fuck that, Marquis, and I was like, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, it's an interesting so, spot. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I think I Leon didn't defend Genoa. No, that's. Fine. Yeah, I think that's yeah, why I said hashtag France not France. Because yeah, I was like, that's... you need to save me, man. And yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah, nobody you helped were, me. This game. But you were not the one who was attacked. It was AI. Like. Yeah, yeah, but like if France yeah, attacks I, Milan. I had it's zero, a zero help besides just uh, France uh, uh, killing uh, killing the Venetians. So I guess yeah. I had that was like my. Uh, my uh, Prussia and the uh, uh, like the Russian Empress died, savior. But uh, besides yeah. that, I'm I can pretty down to like start game when uh, Milan. Yeah, I mean like as uh, currently, I, I have no plan on fighting you at all, so I don't. You don't have to have anything to worry for me. <laughs> oh, the old yeah, yeah, That's couples. pretty much <laughs> like uh, yeah. You 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 can't. Uh, I, I'm not gonna kill you, but. Don't even try anything. You're dead, man. So yeah, like yeah, uh, I don't, I don't want to do anything against France. Like right now, I owe him because he saved me. Yeah, I mean, you have Honestly, some Milan options to grow. Like you have, uh, you can take yeah, some play from Venice, and then potentially like the worst part is Papal. I had like uh, ten, ten. I had the, I had a fleet, and then I that that uh, that just died because of the fucking war also. So I just oh, lost so you my all at the start for any Italian nation. Yeah, yeah, so like I was like, okay, at least I can get the Genoa provinces after this and like build like navy. But that's dead now. So I guess I have no. to get Venice. Uh, no worry about it. I'll try. Yeah, I'll just try. just yeah. like pretend you're a cockroach, and every chance you get to live or expand, take it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, me and the Pope are pretty much are like we're uh, it's it's fun. Like uh, I know, yeah, I know, I know you never can trust anyone hundred percent. But like it, it was fun playing with him. And like I hope we can like uh, keep the friendship. I've just helped him. I mean, uh, you could try Alan Gimia got... to kill Habsburg. Hey, hey, hey! I, like, hey, I, hey, I, hey. I mean, do I, do I really want to ally a guy with diplomatic ideas as his first? No, I don't think so. <laughs> like so, oh, you can't be roasted. Like I, I rather stream, stick bro. with France because at the moment Austria is like not even doing anything against him, and like yeah, so I would I would stick with France then. Oh my France god! Like more more, more bigger hard box for France, I see. Uh, but yeah, we've been stuck on my emperor. We have been stuck with Milan for a while, so I'm just going to go jump over to Pope. Uh, Pope sort of looks like it's a bit in the same spot as Milan. It's a little bit bigger, but a little bit worse off on uh, tech and like internal stability, probably. Uh, it's also like sort of locked in. Can expand into Aragon as well. Yeah, yeah. Me and him uh, pretty much got fucked by that war. So I mean, Naples. Yeah, we're, we're barely surviving at this point. Into Naples, right? I mean, France and Aragon Naples is a uh, well. I mean, Naples is a uh, Aragon subject, but yeah, if if it becomes uh, Aragon, not doing that great. Uh, I mean, Aragon isn't doing that great, but it's doing way better than the Italians. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the Pope is allied with France, so uh, yeah. So I this think is he like can definitely grab Venice. Yeah. Yeah. So the, like, this is a potential. Like po Pope seems to have uh, more options than Milan for sure, especially if Milan isn't willing to go off the Pope. Which I think is the best move for them. So, yeah, I I can't like kill. I can't even kill uh, AI Venice. I don't think I'm gonna go for. I pure, mean, like uh, with allied with France. So, po like po Pope Pope couldn't kill the AI Venice either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, us combined couldn't kill AI, yeah. AI Venice. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna just stick with my like. He's also new, so I I don't want to kill anyone. Like yeah. uh, really. Yeah. I mean, let's. I was planning on just. Killing Venice with Austria and Hungary at the start and just like yeah, building up my country, but yeah, now it's all in flames. Yeah, I mean, looking at uh, I mean Italy, it's like yeah, a little bit screwed, but might bounce back a little bit. If we go over to Burgundy, it's uh, I think it's like uh, I think it's going for Netherlands. At least I heard rumors, but that might just be propaganda. But uh, given like. Uh, given an alliance or like at least uh, an a friendly relationship with France, it doesn't seem too unlikely. Uh, but he's been expanding into the HRE without the emperor doing anything, as expected, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> defended the HRE every time. Yeah, and uh, I mean he's 
It's expanded fairly decently into day 3, but obviously as Burgundy you expand quite slowly right in the beginning if you're going for this direction, so... What's his AE with the HRE? Uh, not that much actually, I just checked. Can he take more? Yeah, he can take, more? he can take more. He can take like two pro another two provinces or something like that, depending I on the think development. Like you can, you can check right now against Leash, but I think one province and the second one probably already gives a coalition. Yeah, but you can take a small coalition, like... Yeah. Not so small, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you if you're allied with France, you can pr you can probably actually do this one. <coughs> like, I don't, I don't think this one will. You improve relations with like half of them, and then you can. And then yeah. I don't think the rest forms. But, but he only has one diplomat, so it's not that easy to get. Yeah, that's and fair. And he also going to take a um, hit because he's annexing Friesland, which gives him minus thirty relations yeah. with everyone in the actually. Yeah, I mean, I don't so think it's worthwhile point. going for it. Either way, like you can just take this one and leave this one for later. It's not that like anyone's going to compete for Loon with you. But so yeah, yeah. it's like sort of slow. Uh, it should be definitely be running instead of a dip rep for uh, annexing. Uh, he's at 16.8. He should definitely be running yeah. like improve relations yeah. advisor and also like focus on. Oh, he has established communities going. That's nice at least. I think it could be, uh, it gives you 15% improved relations, so it makes AE tick down quicker. Yeah, it's like a diplomat nice. in the trade node. Yeah. So that's, that's why he's collecting in two nodes. Yeah. So that's like, uh, I mean, this one could be uh, transferring instead. You can still use this one, so I'm not sure why it's, I guess mm -hmm. it's not going to the... Uh, actually, it has main trading port here, so I have no idea why this one is collecting over trading. Yeah. That would give you more. Transfer would be more efficient, yeah. Yeah. But I mean... It's like a decent burgundy start for someone who's selling out to France. I think it's like... I still don't like the play to sell out to France. Like right now you oh are... You tell me anything. No, but I mean he's not fighting you. And if you don't fight France yeah. early as burgundy, you fall, way, you fall way behind and you can't compete essentially. So... Okay. Uh, like like, to like in, initially you're essentially as big as strong as France and with better IDs, so you can just make a death war with France and become a huge power if you win it. But if you just make a deal like this, France will easily outgrow you. So eh, I'm not like down with the game plan, but for someone who is if he's going for like form Netherlands, which means that France gets all the other land as well, I guess yeah it's off to a fairly good start. <coughs> I don't know why it's not running more advisors, but eh, not the biggest deal. Any other statements you guys want to make about Burgundy? I personally think the player is very competent. Pussy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jumping over to England, uh, I think England ha uh, had some bad uh, luck early on. He got two years, so he wasn't able to get War of the Roses off early. But now he has a really good ruler, so he should be catching up quite quickly. He is running plus two advisors in every category. Yeah, it's not too. Go War of the Roses to get a better general uh, rule. Yeah, yeah. Going, econ going economy ideas first. Yeah, I like it going economic ideas first. It's fairly safe. He got like what I think is the fair deal with France essentially, where he keeps the English Channel holdings, but he gives up these ones. And uh, he's annexed Ireland, subjugated Scotland. I think this is a uh, like you want to be a little bit further ahead in tech as England. Uh, Ideally, yeah. but given that he but had poor luck with theirs, yeah. not much to do. Bad, yeah. yeah, it's a pretty decent thing. I mean, he looks like he's in a strong position now. Yeah. He's getting a lot of mana points, and uh, Definitely. although I'm not sure how much debt he's in, he has a hundred. Uh, uh, he has um, he, hardly in any I'm debt. Wondering... His economy is doing just fine, and yeah. he looks like he can be very strong. He looks yeah. like he's moving yeah, towards it. He's very strong. Yeah. Uh, Liberty Desire uh, 772. Like, what did they actually do to make this this high? Oh, oh yeah, they were trading. He just dropped that away once he wants to annex them. It's no big deal. Yeah. Uh, and like, and he, what you can yeah. do is England, like, given how weak these nations are, he could have tried to snipe Shelland uh, and this stuff if he wanted to. Yeah. But that's like, apart from that, I think this England is doing as well as can be expected. It's set up to become a powerhouse. But yeah, could, yeah. Uh, so could have I would a few like to more understand trends. the economic um, idea first. Okay. How come you guys think that's a good idea? Yeah, I mean, I personally, I think uh, wouldn't it make more sense to go non-admin idea? Uh, like, I, I, I'll, exp I'll go first, and then you can uh, talk about yeah. yourself, Leon. Like, essentially, go economic since you're incredibly safe as England, first of all. 
so mm -hmm. you can get away with it. Uh, you can also you also might not even like want a military ID first since you want you want to go exploration perhaps to mm -hmm. explore and get over here. But why uh, not exploration first? Uh, exploration first doesn't let you reach anything, so it's pointless as the first group. You want it second. Uh, it also lets your infrastructure get jump started with economic uh, focus. Oh, it yeah, lets you dev sense. more efficiently. I mean, it's a ver like essentially economic is a good plan if you can be extremely safe with it and you don't need mill IDs, which is really but, but rare for a nation. Doesn't it delay then the exploration by quite some bit since you have to fill it out completely before you get tech 7? You don't need to fill it out completely, but as England you can normally fill it out completely and get tech 7 at a timely manner, given that you have such a good income that you can run level 3 advisors if need be. Uh, yeah, it's also a thing that it's like minor, but you also don't have the nobility, so filling out a middle group right. is a little bit slower compared to an economic group, it's not the biggest plan. Uh, Leon, Thank you. shoot. Yeah, I, I basically agree. I mean, as England, you want the first idea groups usually to be exploration and economics in this setup. So it's enough to go like, I don't know, naval or quality, depending on the situation of third and then maybe fourth as mill idea groups. So yeah, I mean, the and economics early on just gets you more than exploration because you can't reach any valuable land early on anyways. And economics just allows you to start up buildings 10% yeah. cheaper, deving quicker and all, it's yeah. just overall more helpful than exploration. Yeah, really. I don't think exploration first is viable at all as England. I think you can go a mill group first if you want to fight France, but uh, normally given like that you start with a zero mill ruler and you can't get tech, uh, you can't get to any decent mill tech early on, and you also don't yeah, have nobility, really and War of the Roses that will spawn is like, quite awkward to fight an early war as England, so if you can get a decent deal with France you're better off doing so. And if you can't, maybe even like just release these guys, these guys as marchers and then just blockade France or fighting a proper war. So yeah, I think England is off to a really, really good start, actually. So not quite as good as uh, their neighbor in France. Uh, do you want to talk a bit about your nation, Carlos? Uh, yeah, I got good deals with my neighbors. Um, England and I agreed that we don't want to fight each other early on, so that was really nice. And then Burgundy came to me and was like, you want to ally, or actually I came to him and he was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I don't see why we would waste, um, like, b butt our heads against each other and then let our neighbors kill, kill us. So let's just ally and I'll just go for the lowlands. You can go for Genoa. And um, yeah, that's basically what we did. I have zero land in the English channel. I'm collecting known, Gen Genoan trade node, which is why I also went for Genoa. The yeah, interesting that you've kept your course in uh, England, though, given the deal. Like, normally when I see this deal done, it involves France giving up their course, so... It's... Uh, uh, no... Uh, interesting. We, we didn't... Well, I'm ex I am was thinking I'd get them at some point in the game, so uh, we'll see if, if England uh, wants to sell them or not. Um, okay. I, I expected him to sell them, but I we'll see. see. I see. I, see. Uh, I mean, uh, England selling them. I mean, if France is allied to Burgundy, Burgundy potentially going Netherlands. It's also kind of like threatening to England because, like, the only nation that could fight England on the seas potentially is Netherlands, right? No, they mm. can't. <laughs> they c no, they can't really. really but if they're wall, close right? by, yeah. yeah but like, Burgundy. if you go exploration economics as England, and you don't realize that Burgundy went as third idea naval, and suddenly, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, suddenly obviously it's competition for the English close. channel, either way, so it's not something like and that, that too, you as England yeah, want to see. French yeah. troops is very fast as well. Sorry, but on the other England hand, has like, a ship out of what's the point in holding provinces that you can't protect? As England, yeah, or what? Be yeah. I mean, like, these provinces essentially, if, if, you doubt, uh, if you doubt for them as France, you occupy these and you get blockaded by England, so you both take damage, but you can't neither of you can win the war. You can never peace out, but then yeah. the war keeps dragging on and... Yeah, like so yeah, you, but, if, so but if, he, if, if he sells them, potentially Netherlands gets them from France and then Netherlands increases its share on the channel, so... I mean, like, if, if France declares for England, like, he will just blockade France, so France takes damage, England takes damage, and nothing ends. So, it's not really in France's... It's not like a vulnerability when both sides just... True. ...damage each other. So you can get so if like Netherlands could totally do that, and then just take the trade power for themselves, and then th that's basically it's not as good as owning them, but at least like 
yeah, you're getting damaged by blockaded, but you're also hurting England, and you're getting the trade power. Yeah, but the real question is what advantage does England have from selling them? Like, he can't lose them in a war ever, so yeah. why not just... He doesn't get, worst he doesn't case scenario... a stupid situation where he has to, uh, um, like, blockade and do a stupid war. Yeah, but, but he would want to blockade hello. you and Holland either way, it's po potentially, because Netherlands might go for colonies too, and so, like... Why not blockade? Your... I mean, like if if Burgundy and France together tries to like just siege these down and sit on them, they just get blockaded. So it's like it's not yeah. it's not a threat for England either, because the only way that someone can harm him is by harming themselves. So like assuming that people but, but, don't run but some. France and Burgundy could also like um, put their heavy ships together early game and fight England on the sea. Uh, not really. I don't think they have enough ships to do that actually. No, but they could build ships. If, yes, if, like, but... Like, England makes himself really unpopular, France starts building barges of heavy. Yeah, but, I mean, Fran France has, heavy. like, France has, like, I don't know, four ports at the start of the game. England has, like, 20. It's really, really yeah. hard to okay, so get that through. Six, you build six heavies, then Burgundy builds a bunch, then you try and hide them from them. Because yeah, but the that's, the, that's the point. You can't hide them, really, like... That's the point. England has vision of uh, two of the French harbors just at the start, like right to the next year, and it's really, really slow for France to mass heavy, so I don't think it's a threat for England True. at all. True. But anyways, like this is just a theoretical scenario, nothing that we yeah. want to dig into now. Yeah. Uh, I think it's either way, like I France think... got to, like, uh, I think it got like, how many show strengths? Six show strengths on people? From I got four, four. four. Yeah. So it's in a really I good spot one. right now. One on Castile, one on Aragon, and one on Ottoman. Yeah, and it's that means like money. almost filled out quality IDs, and uh, yeah, really good ruler, really good ruler as well. Great economy. Uh, it's like France is pro if not like Ottomans might be stronger in a straight up fight right now. It's kind of close. I think actually France is stronger, but it's sort of close. But yeah, uh, in the near future, and like one morale. Yeah, but he has five percent. Yeah, I mean it's mostly the fact that France doesn't have Miltek six. Once France has Miltek six, it's going to be the strongest nation in the game, and it has had a totally free game so far. Like yeah. Burgundy not wanting to contest him, and while uh, like it's not the best deal for France not to get these, it's not the worst deal either. Like if England contests you, it's That's way way way, way worse. Yeah. And him being able to snipe like these from uh, Italy is incredible. Uh, like the only thing that actually is scary for France is if he, if he ends up being a coalition. Uh, he seems to have like acted fairly hostily towards Aragon, declaring a humiliation war. And at the same time, like I mean, we have had Milan saying that he's sort of ally to France, but this is what most. Sort of? Yeah, I mean, he's sort of friendly to France. <laughs> like he doesn't like the intrusion in uh, to Italy, but he doesn't want to do anything about it. So. Uh, like the only thing that actually threatens a France uh, that looks like this is pretty much a coalition, and there is or some... Iberia, Iberia consolidating and getting strong. Uh, Iberia, Iberia is even Iberia like combined is not going to threaten France like this. I don't think no. I don't think France really has any rivals. No, I mean unless the... everyone goes against him, yeah. and I added that there's no way that's yeah. happening. Like he's it... got hundreds of rivals. Yeah, I mean if if the income for... is pretty bad though. No, it's like what is no. the second third highest in the game? Yeah, <laughs> so Ottomans and England both have. Yeah, income. exactly, and that's like so almost yeah. a given. How are the yeah. Ottomans and English gonna like work together? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, it's if fr if France is even close to like these nations, it's in a really good spot in combines. Since and you don't have I a mean, trade node early on to work with. The ma the main difference between France and uh, Ottomans is also Ottomans has potential enemies everywhere, whereas France with Burgundy as his uh, I don't want to say bitch, but <laughs> let's say his yeah, it's sort of bitch. Let's say bitch. <laughs> and uh, England can't really fight him even if he wants to, so. I mean, so he's okay, pretty I'll safe. You, the, from my perspective, France, France is free to expand wherever he wants. Ultimately, no, I want to. Okay, so, spot. Spot. Uh, so Carlos, what did you want to say? I want to expand into Iberia because <laughs> Aragon is not that very nice to me, and he killed my good friend Octa. And uh, <laughs> so I said I, I would like to do that, and then Cookie comes to me, and Portugal comes to me. No, you can't do that. We're going to ally you, and we're going to death for you, and we're going to do a bank against you. So, so, yeah, I mean, so, that's so, your only choice, though. So, I mean, yeah, right now, I don't think France needs to expand at all. I mean, opinion. honestly, like, this France is 
absurdly strong at this rate. Like, it's yeah, like the, Napoleon in like, yeah, it's, it's like 60, what the fuck? If, like, if you give this France more free clay, the game is over. Like, I mean, France is getting uh, the land, land from England, he's getting a bunch of Genoa node land, like Genoa. I'm not, I, he, I he like has, to get the land from England. He is already mm. with Burgundy, like his natural enemy, he is his best friend, potentially even giving him his French land for free. And then France is angry that players don't also give him Iberia for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what do you, what do you want? <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. let me 1v2 or 1v1, but don't 1v3. May maybe... Yeah, I mean, in this situation, yeah. you can be happy if you don't get, like, 1v6. Yeah, like, <laughs> this, this is the a France... Last time I, I had a France this, this beautiful, uh, that was in the game that uh, you played Ottomans, Carlos. Uh, everybody f ended up fighting me. So. Yeah, like this is a France <laughs> that should get coalition, yeah. and it should like c wanting to go into Iberia when you already have the Enoa node on essentially locked out. It's like or at least Italy part. It's like, I, like I said, crazy I ambitious. It, yes. Okay. I I retracted any um, hostile stance for Aragon. I think we'd better cover <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, he literally said, yeah, I wanna fuck everyone. Wait, take that back. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I the... would like to do it, but nobody lets me do it, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, because yeah. You know what happened? Everyone hyped you up too much. So, what, you're, what everybody... you're saying is that eventually someone didn't give you stuff for free, and then you backed out. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, like, if we want something's up, this France looking like a monster, it's going to be a monster even if it doesn't expand much further, and just that's yeah. what it ha has. And the only real threat towards it, uh, the only, like, reason it wouldn't be, like, a world power for the next hundred years is uh, if it gets into Austria. a coalition, which I mean, is if unlikely. I all of Germany unite right now, we might have a chance. Uh, like if we talk, by is a good friend of the French. I mean, yeah. by German, yeah. if you mean Austria, Bohemia, Brandenburg, Cologne, they would get steamrolled by France and their allies. I, I mean, if Fra if they united in their one country. I mean, I my Brandenburg is weak as fuck. If France would one v one Austria, I mean, I'm sure France would win, obviously, but it's Actually, not yet. It's not yet completely out of reach. Like no, it's my not. first limit is sixty. His is like I don't. I think the, about the same. Like he has better economy and manpower and stuff. But no, you've got better. Uh, I have a I have a free six general at the moment, for example. Yeah, I mean, I have nine hundred buckets. Like it's I not. Mean, Okay, let's see next session what happens because yeah. you're talking so much like okay, I can beat France, but like I'm what's not saying happen? I could you're beat France. Let them expand more. Like, France is no allied way. to Burgundy. Let's Milan, let Leon talk now. Pope. All I'm saying is like we can't say France is running away with the game when there are currently nations who are at least pretty close to him. No, like, I mean he can't one v six the world yet. Like it's not. No, I, I mean he's not the point. The, mo the main problem, in my opinion, is that. Most of his neighbors like don't fight him and even give him land for free. That's why he's currently getting out of hand. Okay, which no land way. did I get for free besides my two cores? And I three cores. Free, free cores. Uh, okay, should I should I just make a list here, Carlos? You got uh, you got your <laughs> cores here. For, you got the cores here for free. You got Brittany for free. Provence. You got Provence for free. <laughs> you got you know. No, yes, I mean I England can easily contest for Britain if they want to. So, yeah, yeah. so then I'll have even more mainland. Uh, I mean, the main point is Burgundy is basically working with you, and if France and Burgundy are allied to each other, nobody can really fight them. Like, yeah. Okay. At least early on, like. I mean, I agree that it's France is in a good position, but I feel like um, people one v five in France would be really unfair. Uh, yeah, of course. I think it would be helpful I mean, for the game state. You would actually, actually just just might actually win that. Win. That's the worst part. That's not true. Like, if I can just that, call in his I'm allies. I doubt that. Okay, I mean, I'm not even confident I can beat Iberia. I mean, at but point. France and Burgundy can easily one v six or one v five. Yeah, it, yeah, like I mean, Burgundy all, is all really all strong all right now. If Burgundy so. is on his side, then it's a different story. Yeah, with Burgundy together, yeah, but like, France but is why already would Burgundy help? pretty unbeatable. I don't know why is why, why is he selling out? <laughs> why is he not killing you then? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's I let's you become the bigger target. Here, I'm yeah. I'm going to just uh, move on now. Like, yeah. I will just say <laughs> one last thing. Austria is like fairly close to France right now, but the point is that Austria will taper I'm off, falling off yeah, typically, falling and off. France will just keep scaling with just purely developing its land, and that's what's scary. The cur current state isn't like that great, but it's going to be a huge power. Uh, yeah. Moving on to like Iberia and Aragon, uh, we, we saw Castile 
uh, essentially was trying to ally Aragon and Portugal and gangbang poor Morocco, but uh, it kind of backfired no, on him. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It, this is actually this is actually a fact. I think Octa would agree. He tried he tried to gangbang me, and he got gangbanged. Yeah, yeah, I know that for sure, man. Yeah. Octa told me that you so that you gangbanged him before yeah. he gangbanged you. <laughs> I mean, bo both me and Okta essentially tried to get Portugal and Aragon on our side, and I was successful. I mean, Ar what was Aragon gonna gain from killing Morocco? Like, yeah, so like he choose uh, he yeah. choose against Spain, and then Portugal was like, okay, yeah, two versus three, two versus two, nah, yeah, three versus one. Yeah, I mean, like, I, f I think in all fairness, like this was a better deal for both Aragon and Portugal. Like for Aragon, if you align with Castile. Uh, short term you might be fine, but long term Castile usually forms to form Spain, so they look for an opportunity to kill you. For Portugal, he can probably still do his colonization game, but he also got a bunch of clay in Iberia. So I think it's... But who protects them now? I mean, like, uh, Aragon and uh, still wants uh, money to flow into Sevilla. So I think, like, uh, even now you probably want to... Even, leave. But he'll, he'll have no trade power. Or yeah. Very little. Yeah, power yeah. But e even if you want to kill uh, Portugal, you want to wait until he's colonized <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but like right now, Aragon has like zero trade centers in. Sevilla, no, but right? Aragon can get really strong if he yeah. has some of Genoa node because the trade in Sevilla will automatically. Yeah. Flow exactly. Like but it's yeah. it's but good for you know why even if. Uh, if uh, Portugal colonizes. I'm not saying it's not bad, but like with Castile, it makes more sense because Castile actually holds half of Sevilla. No yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, I mean, obviously it's uh, Aragon has more incentive to kill Portugal well, than uh, Castile. I, I don't know the deals yeah. around Iberia, but if Aragon gets La Mancha, that's uh, quite a good income. For yeah, them. and I mean... Yeah, but they didn't take it yet. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like... The deal, so. I mean, I, I can just say the deal, essentially. Uh, like, if we go by region, uh, Portugal gets this, and this, and what else was it? I don't know, some, something else maybe. Oh yeah, this, this, and this, uh, these two. I, as Morocco, get this, uh, this one, and the Aragon gets this. Oh, so you got, you got La Mancha? Yeah, I get La Mancha. Oh. I think this, okay. I think Aragon actually got the most clay in the deal, but it's a fairly, this, fairly even one. Don't you need like Sevilla f to form? Yeah, I mean we just trade back and forth. Yeah, but yeah, like. Uh, I feel like Aragon gets the worst deal out of that. What? Honestly. Does he? Yeah. He gets the most draw dev, <laughs> and he gets uh, this state, which is like the best manpower state in the game. But and the, no this one. No centers and only two states compared to. Like, he gets three. He gets three, three states. Yeah, and he's. I mean, the Sevilla trade is never going to be huge. But like uh, Aragon is going to. For yeah. I mean, Aragon, like Aragon gets region. Aragon gets two po full three states. Portugal gets two point five, and Morocco gets two point five. So state wise, is in favor of Aragon. I think it's in favor of dev wise, and it's uh, like the best uh, state probably dev wise to dev this one or I mean, this one. Mancha's way. I mean, it's like mostly that. I guess you have a tr insulin center of trade here and here, but like and you have the gold mine. Yeah. That's these these uh, these two states are like the best in Iberia since you have an inland center of trade with five provinces, so you can dev them really well. But yeah, I mean, I, I would be happy as this seal as Aragon, so eh, I think it's fair. Uh, but yeah, looking at the nation as a whole, it looks uh, fairly good. It's like I mean, it no ideas. It has no it's ideas, no but it has Miltech six at least. Uh, I mean, the pro no. His I think problem really is that France is so strong in the yeah. north, and obviously yeah. shooting for the Genoan. So exactly, like if it wasn't for the France, I think this Aragon would be in a fairly okay position. I also think uh, he, some by the way, someone has uh, their speakers on, uh, turn them off if possible. Um, but I think his god ruler died really early, which was unfortunate for him. So it's not exactly where he would want to be, um, technology-wise. But I mean, it's like okay. He would probably want to be a little bit higher in income, in tech. Income is actually fairly, fairly okay, 20. Uh, force limit is fine, yeah. I mean, like, I think this is Aragon is looking okay for an Aragon at this Can point. Yeah. What's his monthly balance right now? Uh, like yeah. I want to figure out why. Hmm. Oh, corruption. May have some reinforcements. Yeah, he has. No, like, oh, he's, he's probably running. Yeah, he's running way too much cavalry. He should really sort it out. 
This army is way too he expensive. He doesn't know that cavalry is useless. And yeah, and it's also like maintaining the forts. He has some like internal management to do, but I think the nation as a whole is. I think he should build a fort in Navarra. Probably. Yeah, definitely. He has to defend against. Yeah. Wait, he can take points. He can take what? From... He can take points, mana from the states. Yeah, he can. Yeah. I mean, I think okay. like I know that this player is also fairly Quite new to there. multiplayer, so. And yeah, maybe you that, can, uh, Cookie, maybe you can tell him that you can take points from this state. I mean, it's like, on the one hand I could tell him, but it's also like, people kind of overrate this. Like, if they start start lo losing focus on other things, uh, like, 150 points here is like 0 0.6 a month or something. It's not that big of a deal, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'll, I'll let him know. It's really big on 1444. Yeah, it's really big on 1444, and I told him to do so on 1444, but like... Yeah. Uh, him not doing it for the last four years isn't the biggest deal ever. Yeah, I, a good like time. I mean, I think it's the, it's first multiplayer game, and I think it's doing fairly well given that he actually has some army professionals going, so he and might have recruited generals. General. Yeah. The, oh general. yeah, this is actually look. Oh yeah, <laughs> this might actually be quite nasty if France decides to go for it. Like hill fort here, even if this is uh, even if yeah. this isn't here, it still has this. And I mean, even this. if if Rosario falls, you still have Cuesta. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, and this general and hill and mountain force is actually really nasty for France, even despite their yeah. amazing quality. Yeah, but I already said I'm not going to go for Aragon. Because you just rolled, rolled it. Okay. Excuse me, what? You rolled this general, so... No, no, not now. Oh. Uh, that one was there from before. I rolled another one. Oh, really? I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I popped this uh, interaction, but I... Yeah, he had this before, I remember checking in the save. So yeah, actually Aragon is... I, I don't like... I don't mind Aragon's position at all. I think it's like... Some of the internal mismanagement, like not keeping force off, not using estates, having Cav... Shows it's a fairly new player, but given that, I think it looks in a solid position. Also, not using an admin advisor, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, that's probably due to his income, but uh, clearly he should just be lowering maintenance... Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. mothballing this fork. And this and like, yeah. He's, he's the highest trade um, power in Genoa, by the way. Yeah, I mean, he's like, obviously his balance isn't it's, that it's ideal, it's but it's actually, his income is fairly good, given his size, so... And no gold mine. He has a level to, 2 mil advisor. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think this is sexy, having a level 2 mil advisor. I just wish he had a level 1 here and here. Yeah. But especially given that France is about to fill out quality, you really want to focus on mil and getting that up and running. Also, you want to fire some leaders, so you get the maximum mill, obviously. Jumping over to Portugal. Uh, Portugal, I think, like, you got a fairly good deal out of this. I think he has, like, he has, like, almost every center of trade in uh, Iberia, mm -hmm. right? Except for two. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, I think, the, I, I, I think this mm -hmm. one is part of, I think this one is part of uh, my, me for the deal as well. But yeah, no, he gets. Not. I mean, I, he has it right oh, now. But oh, I think. Made it separate. Yeah, oh. I oh. think I think this one is supposed to be mine as well. I'm not entirely sure. I don't need to recheck what the deal is. But he gets every trade center in Sevilla apart Do from. Do you really care about eh. your trade in Sevilla? No, no, I don't. So he's going to like he gets uh, almost all the trade in Sevilla, and like even if I have like one or two trade centers, I'm probably not collecting or caring much about it as Morocco. So he's going to get an absurd economy going once he colonizes. Uh, on the other hand, he is doing very bad in tech and IDs, obviously. Not even at level. What is his current economy? Eh. Like keeping up and mill. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this is. Especially when you've been fighting Castile, this is really <coughs> good. And, I mean, props to him for doing that. I, like, this is something as a new. Because he's also a new player. And it's really easy as a new player to fall behind on mill tech, and then you just get shooed up yeah. by your neighbors. So, like, this is number one priority, and he's doing that. He's also, like,. It's not an amazing economy, but Portugal economy early on is kind of awkward. I don't think this is a bad economy either. Uh, he would want no. to run an admin advisor as well, try to get that going, take the points and uh, get this going so he can start explore exploring. But like, I think this is a decent opening for Portugal. Once again, like some internal mismanagement that could be better, but I think the nation is in a solid position. And especially yeah, with... Excuse Portugal me. doesn't have an easy start. Yeah, Portugal is... If you get this Portugal after one session, you should be happy. Yeah, exactly. Like, like the normal Portugal is just to ally Castile, don't get any clay, and just explore. 
here he can do the same thing while having like uh, 2.5 additional states. So I think he should be really happy with his position. Obviously, it's, it's a problem if Aragon like stabs him, but given that France is a huge threat to Aragon, that's not likely either. So I like his position. Sorry, what were you what saying? Is, uh... Yeah, I mean, I just uh, it, it does make him a bit more vulnerable because he doesn't have that big boy Castile protecting him. Where, where like now, pe lots of people can get claims on him. Morocco can get easy claims on him. Uh, France can get claims on him. Claims on him. Aragon can get claims on him. He gets a lot more neighbors now. I mean, so, Fra France would neighbors. have to go through Aragon to fight him anyway, so that's not matter really. But yeah, he has uh, two neighbors in Morocco and Aragon instead of one. I guess that's the only drawback. But I think if you if you can get this clay, uh, this clay as uh, Portugal and a friendly Aragon and Morocco, that's a better deal than LA and Castile. So I think he made a good choice and play. Yeah. What does uh, Aragon even need to form Spain? Uh, like, let's see. Passes, uh, yeah. Bit attack. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he need like it's going to be re yeah, like, if if Aragon wants no, to form Spain, it's going to be a. Yeah, exactly. So Aragon is probably not forming Spain. Unless yeah. he wants to go hostile to, to yeah, exactly. He can form France. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he can form France. It's no problem. But yeah, moving on to I guess uh, my nation uh, as Morocco. I was like, obviously really happy to get Aragon and Portugal, and even to some extent Tunis helping me against Castile to make it a smooth and easy war. Like the ruler you start with as Morocco is like a zero to one or something, and then I got a like, pretty shitty. Ruler from the event as well, so I was I would have hated to bankruptcy war, so I'm like really really happy that I managed to get a smooth war going. I got yeah, a few I'm loans, really but I managed to get them paid off. Yeah, exactly. I like it used to be worse, but I just stabbed this up and then uh, raided my friends here <laughs> before I integrated my vassals because they could too, so too, and that like gave me a re gave me the good temples going. So. I'm actually in a really good position oh in convoys. Oh my gosh, there's so many temples built. Yeah, uh, I actually needed the temples for uh, this mission to get to the Saharan route, so that was mainly that oh, was a priority over that because of that. So you're gonna delete them then later? Like later on, <laughs> probably. Yes, I don't have the best terrain here, so for in some yeah. in some like this is fine. It's uh, drylands, but like here. This one is probably getting deleted eventually. I don't understand how you got uh, so much surplus that you can spend it on so many raiding. Buildings. Yeah, r raiding. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> raiding is super efficient. Yeah, essentially raiding, and obviously I've had I've had this gold mine for a few years now, dev'd, which is really really nice. Do you have a second one? Uh, no, uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, I'm getting it soon. Soon, <laughs> team. Yeah. So yeah, I'm like the only issue for me, obviously, is uh, expansion. I mean, I'm kind of behind on, like, this is not the best thing ever, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm catching up on uh, ideas and tech. And it's also, like, sort of awkward expansion-wise. I have some parts of Castile to show up, but then it's like, I'm friends what with you. Tun uh, I want it. I want Tunis, but I would feel bad killing him. <laughs> That's your deal? <laughs> what? That's your deal with him? What, what deal? Like... Uh, I I that think you want to kill him, but you feel bad doing it, so you're not doing it. That's the deal you made with him. I mean, it's not as much of a deal; it's just me stating what how our relationship is like right now. Oh, okay. What? I asked him to I asked him to stab you, and he said no. That I mean, like t me, like Tunis is a very wholesome person. I think so too. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like that's the only, like tech, obviously. I need some time to catch up and like expansion routes. Maybe like down into Songhai is an option, or otherwise just fighting like Tunis. Obviously, Songhai, uh, Songhai is being seeded as a player yet. Oh. But like Songhai is seeded with Miltech 6, Morocco is with Miltech 5, so it's kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and Morocco has no national IDs to actually do anything early. So it's kind of an awkward war as well. Uh, yeah. How soon can you form Andalusia? Uh, I mean, you it's. You need a certain tech? No, but yeah, I, I need. Uh, I, I don't need. You don't need admin 10, but no, it's a lot of land. You just need the core. Ah, okay. Yeah. I mean, the dream, if we manage to pull that off, is to get uh, Black Guard going first. What's so the Black Guard? It's 2.5 oh, uh, discipline yeah. until the end of the game, yeah. and then uh, form it. I mean, it's not like the biggest deal. You don't. If you if you're concerned about losing the ability to form Andalusia, you don't take this one. But if you can, it's nice. 
But yeah, I mean, Morocco's looking decent. It's really awkward tech-wise and kind of awkward expansion-wise, but otherwise good. Could obviously have made a deal with France to split uh, Iberia or something, but first of all, I don't want to kill these guys, because they are uh, new people and very nice guys. And secondly, I think it would be really, really bad for the game health to give France half of Iberia. So I'm probably not doing that. Like li Poland and R Russia splitting Lithuania. Yeah, I mean, yeah, except that France is even worse than these guys right now, so it would be disastrous for game health. Uh, yeah, looking over at uh, Tunis, I think it's the last nation we have. It's like mm -hmm. uh, Morocco's baby brother, <laughs> <laughs> in many ways. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, it's also sort of uh, awkward tech-wise, behind. Uh, it has a little bit worse than economy, actually a lot worse than economy. But is yes. it being shared? Institutions shared right now. Let's see. No, it's not. He could just get it mm -hmm. from Pope, I guess. Unless they are hostile to each other. Uh, maybe he's. I mean, is he raiding Pope? He's not raiding Pope. Okay. Doesn't seem mm -hmm. like it, but I mean, you would expect Tunis to raid all of Italy to get like. Yeah. He raided me. The big bucks. Yeah, he's raided here, but he hasn't raided Pope. Well, see, why, why wouldn't he raid Pope but raid me? Uh, maybe the yeah. Pope is paying for the fort, so the. No, but it's it's a modifier here if he's raided the coast recently. Oh. So I don't know if he's forgotten about it or if there's a deal going on here or something. But yeah, Tunis, uh, he needs some time to catch up on uh, IDs and tech, essentially. Especially he's had some really bad luck with rulers here. Uh, he's sitting on 64 prestige. He should disinherit his guy, I think. Yeah, he should definitely disinherit this guy, tr toss him down the stairs. But uh, he has the money to put up some advisors, especially if he raids here, and he should be able to catch up. After that, it's like sort of a question where you want to expand. You could expand into Aragon, the, like the islands, but that's kind of awkward given Aragon's alliances and uh, like your fleet yeah, right now. Yeah, he's to Morocco, but at the same time he wants to kill Aragon. So, yeah, I mean, Aragon I mean that's die. that's an option. He could try to ally Ottomans. He's actually allied to Ottomans right now. Yeah, yeah. and go for Mamluks. Going the Mamluks seems like the smart thing to do. Yeah, it's also I think he's. He needs, if he can get these provinces, uh, he also gets uh, he gets the event where he spawns land here, so he could actually go down into air. So you guys think it's actually better for him to eat into Mamluks than to eat into Morocco? I mean, I don't yeah. think he can eat into Morocco, I think he'd die. Think, <laughs> how, can, yeah. how can he eat into Mamluks but not into Morocco? No, I mean, like, Mam Mam Mamluks, he can... Mamluks is, uh, like... Yeah, but Fra France could help him against Morocco. France or yeah. Why would France help him against Morocco? Yeah, because, yeah I, mean, I mean... Morocco's literally cock-locking France. I mean, le let's just put it like this. If Tunis joins uh, France... He uh, just dies. It, yeah, like... France uh, never reaches... Exactly. Never reaches Morocco before Morocco kills Tunis. Exactly. So. So Whereas it's, uh, with Ottomans, all Tunis has to do is held off the Mamluks, that, and that seems way more possible yeah. than holding off Morocco. Yeah, I think that both Austria and, and England wouldn't see it looking. Yeah, if France goes at war with Algeria and Africa. Yeah, I mean, what like what I would do either way, like the primary expansion route is here, air, because you spawn you spawn these if you get those two provinces and you get uh, traverse the Sahara. And you get get these guys cord immediately and claims here, and you can just start shooting into West Africa. Yeah. So like this is. I think Morocco is going to be there as well. Yeah, I mean yeah, it's a it's a so it's a song I yeah. player, so yeah, it's yeah. obviously you'll get into conflict bad. here, but it's the easiest expansion for him for sure. And then like you could try to be opportunistic. You could go for like depending on how the diplomatic landscape shapes up, like Aragon, Morocco, Mamluks are all options depending on who you can get an alliance with. But I don't think like. Assuming that for Tunis, it's like hope that Morocco and Mamluks are friendly. Even if they are friendly, you have a good expansion path and you have some options depending on what happens. Yeah. So I don't think they are like in too bad of a position. Like, I think Morocco and Tunis' positions are kind of similar, except that Morocco is a little bit stronger. And has a gold mine. Yeah, I mean, that's part of why it's stronger. <laughs> yeah. But Tunis has more stuff to raid, actually. Given yeah, that, that's true. Given Especially that, Italy, like yeah. Naples and Rome alone. Is it yeah, always it's a rush who gets to raid it first? I, mean, uh, I know because Morocco can't raid Rome yeah. like uh, too far away. Yeah, exactly, this is one, two, three. So like you reach here as Morocco. So all of Italy is free to raid for Tunis. Like, 
Genoa, Rome, Siena, all of that yeah. land. Yeah, but he like who gets to raid Aragorn. Yeah, but Aragorn is. Uh, yeah, I mean, assuming like right now, Morocco could raid Aragorn, but if they are allied, they can't. So uh, but there is. Yeah, I mean, we used to be allied, then our relationship broke due to some people raiding the other one. I'm not sure who that would be. <laughs> 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 but yeah, yeah, like I don't. I think Judas is in a okay spot, assuming that. I mean, his neighbors Ottomans could actually be funny and give Tunis Epirus, and so he can yeah. raid like Venice. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I wanted that <laughs> as Morocco, and then some something over here, but I can't they reach. Split the money or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, any last words? Like, let's go over Iced, Do you have any words? You jumped in here. Uh, well, I missed the first hour, so. Yeah. The, anything you want to say about the session? That. Uh, well, we tried to uh, essentially break uh, Lithuania, but uh, Lithuania was allied to Ottomans all the time. So instead we had to coalition war Ottomans to get him to break. Uh, sadly we were unlucky in a siege, so we couldn't make uh, Lithuania break his allies. Uh. So instead we just made Ottomans break his. Oh, okay. uh, we did make him spit out some stuff, but he's still strong. Oh. Uh, but we have a Mamluks player now, so that might change things. Yeah, nice uh, to get some... I yeah, only managed to get a single and Ottomans break alliances? Uh, yeah, I made him break alliances. Yeah, but the I problem just... is the truce was pretty long, so I think... Yeah, 15 years. They, and they can re-ally after 10, so by the time yeah. the truce is up, they can ally again. However, yeah. uh, Muscovy did a separate war against Lithuania, so he will have a very short truce. Uh, he can actually attack, and Ottomans will not be allowed to uh, re-ally, because it's, it's going to take yeah, more than really years. Allied. They are allied, so I'm not sure what you guys yeah. were up to. We're allied. Ottomans and uh, Lithuania are already yeah. allied again. Yep. Oh. It's yeah. 10 years, so I'm not sure, like... It's only 10? Yeah, it's only 10 yeah. for Randall. Oh, sad. But yeah, I have to, since I you're agree. here, I have to ask, like, why is why does Sweden get to the order? Seems like... Uh, because uh, Sweden gets the uh, Baltics. And the plan was that uh, me and Moscow get uh, half of Lithuania each. I think... Yeah. Yeah, because I, because I want to form... I uh, haven't realized that yet. Moscow hasn't what? How come uh, Muscovy hasn't realized this plan of yours yet? I feel like he had plenty of opportunity yeah, to attack. Yeah, for, for some reason he went, with a, he went with a humiliation war uh, instead of uh, <laughs> uh, instead of taking land, doing the... I'm not sure why. Okay. Uh, maybe he misclicked. And, and <laughs> yeah, all right. No. I mean, I feel like but you yeah. didn't really have a reason to give Sweden any clay, because Sweden is apathetic and weak and yeah. can't do anything, but... Yeah. It seems a little bit strange, because if you feed the Baltic to Sweden, he suddenly becomes strong. Yeah. Basically, you just create someone who's on par with you. That was pretty weak yeah. before. So. Yeah, like, uh, I, it's a bit strange to me, but I get your point. I like, you have some uh, nice hug box going here, Sweden, Poland, and Moscow, and you each all want yeah. to be strong and fancy over just taking shit for yourself. Uh, Carlos, any last words? Please don't kill me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please, Coalition France, I heard you correctly. Leon? Uh, no particular okay. words. Senor Karl. Please don't kill me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, the, the, this one I can buy into. Uh, Sir, Sir Don, what do you think of the session? I don't know. I, I don't really agree with all the Polish, Lithuanian, Muscovy, Sweden thing. But yeah, me neither. But. Sir Don, are you on BB? I'm Brandenburg, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that uh, Inquisitor leaves, leaves the game actually pisses me a bit because I would have already taken a big chunk of Lubeck if it wasn't for him. Yeah, but uh, well, you can you can do this now, and you've expanded fairly well, a wise, I think. So it's not too yeah, bad. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Did you make a deal? We'll see. Yeah. Anyways, I think Poland and Sweden isn't really easy. Yeah. Anyways, I think we're going to sign off here. Thank you, everyone, for listening to the podcast, and I hope you guys enjoy the, I mean, both session and cost as much as I did. See you guys next yeah, week. Yeah, was great. Ciao. Yeah.